Hello? Chat? Is it 4.30? Uh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Okay, oh look, it's normal! Don't mind us, we're just breaking Twitch, apparently. Yeah. Is there desync? Why are we little? Yeah, desync? that's the main question. Are we desync? Hello? Hello. Words. Words. Testing. Hey. My mouth. Hey. Yes? It's, it stopped butter flapping. Yay, <laughs> we did? We're, butter flap is done? I don't know. Chat, we're so relying on you. Working. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> don't. I... It apparently works now. Yes. Okay. Tits. Synced. All right. All right. I'm ho hosting up again. Hold on. Sorry, guys. Thank Damn. You. Okay. On, on. Good. <laughs> I totally don't know what I normally say anymore. I've completely blanked something about how is everybody doing? <laughs> Welcome to Nocturne. Welcome. <laughs> what time is it? I'm only mildly panicking. Okay. <laughs> Let's go around the room and say hello so that I can calm down. Let's start with Zeke, who's in a hotel. So can we get some piss mittens in the chat for Zeke, who's playing with us today from a hotel? What? Muted. Are we muted? We're not muted. Don't fuck with me. <laughs> I'll ruin your lives. <laughs> okay. See, go ahead. <laughs> oh, he is muted. What? Seek? Okay. So, uh, Dan, you first. <laughs> Hi, I'm Domestic Dan. Oh, God, you scared me, Dan. No, my, that was not intentional, but it's what I do almost every time. It's fine. Hi, Domestic Dan here. There are no te technical difficulties. Everything's normal. It's 2 p.m. exactly on the dot. It hasn't changed. Uh, and uh, welcome to Nocturne. I play uh, Professor Dr. Theo Ransom, who's uh, very normal and, and nothing's wrong with him. And he hasn't had nightmares for as long as he can remember because of the weird ass book that he has. Uh, so uh, yeah, I'm excited for Nocturne. Thank you. Uh, is my mic better? Yes, it's fixed. Okay. We can hear you now. Would you like to tell everyone who you are and who you play? Who you become, you rather? Betcha. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to. It's it's very strange not being able to hear myself on the microphone <laughs> because I'm used to my own setup. Um, anyway, hi, I'm Ezekiel the Third. I'm here in Vancouver, Canada, because I'm uh, going on vacation tomorrow. But uh, my, uh, my character's name is uh, Trick Magnum or Henry for those the uh, his close friends who actually know him. Uh, he is a former, well, not a former, a former, yeah, former porn star, turned porn producer, uh, made a little bit of money, had something happen to him early on in his teen years that opened his eyes to the possibility of the supernatural. And he's been trying to, to uncover anything else he can find out about it ever since. And uh, that's how he met the professor. And through the professor, that's how he met everybody else. Amazing. Speaking of everybody else, Katie, I mean Emma, CK, tell us who you are and who you become every Wednesday. I'm everybody else. <laughs> My name's Classy Katie. I fucking love you. <laughs> I go by CK here. You can see obvious reasons why. Um, <laughs> I play Emma. She is a very warm, caring, healing nurse who's just the type that her hands give you immediate comfort. It's just that kind of person. So uh -huh. if you guys are here to, for an escapism from, you know, the terrors that are out in the real world, this is the perfect place to be today. That's all I'm going to say. I'm here to comfort you and bring you warm feelings the caregiver. all over. Um, who's the pup behind you? I'm sure everyone <gasps> wants to know. Hi! <gasps> This is my boy Link. Oh, hello, baby. He's a big golden boy. Please, please excuse the cameo. Oh my God, we'll never forget it. Uh, Katie Peters plays. Please tell us who you are and who you become every Wednesday. I become Briar, who I think might be at fault for everything, and so um, <laughs> yeah, she's racked with guilt. And um, yeah, I'm ex I'm excited to see what happens this week. Um, all of us have got some weird shit going on, so it's gonna get good. It's gonna get good. Yeah. <gasps> oh, 
and classy packs. Tell Hi. us who you are and who you become every Wednesday. I become Brian Miller, and I make people cry and break keyboards. That's what I do. <laughs> yep. But thanks to the generosity of the few and Pumpkin throwing me a hundred bucks my way on top of that without, sorry. without permission. I'm I couldn't sorry. even reply back because it would I just know. be like, thank you, but with no spaces in it. <laughs> so thank you. Oh, that's right. That makes yeah. sense. Uh, it's like, he's not responding. Like, I don't care. <laughs> okay. So, yes, thank you for that. We're up and running again at my brand new keyboard. Mm -hmm. Yay. And uh, ready for more. Well, whatever happens, I guess. Yeah. Can I be a nerd and ask what kind of keyboard you got? Yeah, I'd love I, to know, too. I got a, a new Steel Series something. I don't know. It, it was the <laughs> nicest one. That was a, one. <laughs> it was it the nicest prettiest. one they had okay. at a... Yeah, the nicest one they had at a Staples that's in my town, so I don't have many options where I live. I live in a smaller city, so it's mm. either Walmart or Staples. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go toward the business office building, and they actually <laughs> had some gaming stuff. So I'm like, yeah, Steel yes. Series. <laughs> I grabbed Perfect. this thing. Yeah. All uh, right. Steel Series 750 right there. <laughs> uh, is there a number on it? Steel Series. I don't think so. Uh, it's, it's a just, something. Okay. Ooh, yeah. I like it. It's I nice. <laughs> <clears throat> Flash and keyboards. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and play our intro now. If you missed last week's episode, don't worry. We've got a recap for you. And they're done. Warning. What you are about to see may contain violence, disturbing imagery, adult themes, and may leave you doubting who you really are. Proceed at your own risk. Previously on Nocturne. There's been a development. Y'all walk in and see two tricks now. Time being all fucky as it is. He's from three days in the future. They're the same person. We took care of the body. Care to elaborate? We took it to the graveyard and we just put it in a coffin. I need my books. You arrive at the university on one of the bookshelves way in the back. There does seem to be a photograph. It's a photo of Adisa Bello with the professor. They look very friendly. The professor puts this lockbox on the desk. I hesitate for probably about 30 seconds and then take it out. The symbol you, well, many of you saw. And then I open up to where it is in the book. As you guys look at this, Trick and Briar, everything for you goes black. Can you see anything? I cannot. I'm, I'm trying to get to you, honey. Just stay where you are. As you're following the sound of her voice, you immediately look to where Briar should be, but you see a tall, slender, shadowy figure. It very clearly seems like that should be her. I pull out my lighter. Briar, you can see it's a lighter in the dark trick. When you turn that lighter on, you see the most horrific face in this shadow. You recognize those eyes, those same eyes that stared at you when that coffin was lowered into the ground. Please, I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't know. I. Uh, we thought you would. We thought you were dead. I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I'm gonna run over to him. What, what's going? What the? F Get it together. Get it together. Pull I, yourself together. I'm right here. I'm. I'm right here. I'm gonna start like rubbing his back. No, I'm sorry. Please. Uh, and I get up and I start you. like running in the dark. <laughs> As you're running, it's like you can see it in your head, yelling, "What? It's me, Briar. Don't leave me here alone." Professor just turns it away from them. Professor? Don't you listen hear? to her, Professor. It sounds like her, but it's not her. Trick, it's she came me. back. She's not forgiven us. She, 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 Listen to me. She was alive, Professor. She was alive. Trick, it is her. I can see her. I can see you. Stop. But I stop immediately because that really triggers a memory. Focus on my voice. Yes, sir. I'm scared. And push it away. Daddy, I'm scared. I don't want, I don't want to do it, Daddy. I'm scared. Briar, you open your eyes and there you are, back in the office with the professor and everybody else. Trick, all of a sudden, you can kind of see it look up out of the darkness at you with that grin. And then it looks surprised and shocked. It grabs its heart and you hear, Maggie, are you all right? And then it falls to the ground. I don't know what triggered this. You get a flash of you and Bello, and you're being intimate. You're talking over the symbol. You're talking about it. And then it's over. Your nose is bleeding. Professor, is that blood? 
Professor, is there a bathroom nearby? There's like a really shitty mirror that's held in by those brass things. Nice. Punch it. <sighs> Fuck, okay, 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 you're okay. It feels so good. <sighs> you're fucking okay. You love the feeling of the blood running over your hand. Anyone want to help me get to a hospital? She punched a mirror because she likes the feeling of pain or blood or something like that. All right, go ahead. Go ahead and get yourself in the car. I'll right. be right there, all right? Hey, Brian. Where are you going? As you walk down this hallway, go ahead and tell us what happens when you walk into Amy's office. She's standing there at the end. Amy notices you. She looks up. Oh, hey, honey. And she walks over to you. What's wrong? What happened? Are you all right? Are you hurt? Nothing's wrong. I miss you. I miss you, too. And she's gone. I fucking hate this place! I am gone with this place! And we begin today's episode, I believe, en route to the hospital. <laughs> Again. Um, who's driving? Not me. Right, because your hand. So we have... It was Dan. It was Dan right. who was given the Professor keys. Professor Theo Sorry. is driving. And I believe... Theo, can you roll three times for me? I think you did yes. this last time, but I'm just going to double check here. I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, you did. But. Yep, okay, you did. Um... Yep, you guys get to the hospital. What would you like to do? Are you pulling up to the emergency, or are you parking, or? I'd pull up to the mer emergency. Okay. I'd probably direct you around a corner to staff parking. Just go back there. It's quicker to get inside. All right, we don't have a permit. I'm pulling in anyway as I'm saying that. Okay. Dude. All right, so I don't know if any of you have been to an emergency room in a hospital before, but we're going to walk inside and they'll probably check me and you don't need to come if you don't want to. I just want to get it cleaned. Couldn't you do that on your own? Yeah, I don't you... keep, like, bottles of antiseptic on my person, usually. But thank you so much for the idea. Right. And I'm just going to get out of the car and walk in the doors. I don't get out and follow. I'm not going in. No, nah, me neither. Okay. I get out. All right. You guys but I don't walk follow in. her in. Ooh. Ah. What do I'm you just, do? I'm just, I'm, I'm nothing dramatic. I'm just, I'm, I just walk away from the, from the, uh, Escalade and, and, uh, just have a cigarette. Okay. Yeah, I'll do the same thing, probably. Okay. Are you going to have a cigarette next to him? Or do you no. go somewhere else? Okay. No, I would go by myself, yeah. I'd probably go um, around the corner. If it's in the back, so kind of around the corner where the entry is, I would just stay at the corner, kind of near the where people pull in. Okay, it's about five in the morning, just so everybody remembers. Um, we're pretty low on sleep. I'm going to have yeah. everybody roll. And the only person that didn't eat a sandwich was Professor Theo, right? But then you ended up eating I, one. I did eat it later, yeah. Okay. Uh, roll, you said? Okay. Yeah. Oh, jeez. That, that. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh oh. That is a yeah, hundred. That's a hundred, which is a critical that's failure. Um, real bad. Yeah. Oh. Real, real bad. Oh, I think that's our, that's yeah, our first hospital, 100. We've, already, we've parked. Yeah. So it begins. Uh, Briar got a 77, Emma got an 87, Zeke got a 58, and Pax got a 73. So everybody's rolls. really yeah. fucking tired. Unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, Briar, you can re-roll. Or no, yours is just, you're really fucking tired, too. Woo! What I do a have start. a skill called restlessness, which is work without rest. Oh, 
Okay. I don't know if it applies. Yeah, of course it does. Go ahead and roll oh, that skill for me. 40. It's under your your uh, governing stat, is it not? Yes, 6 yeah. is my body. Yeah, okay. Awesome. Okay, so you guys are feeling pretty tired. I'd say Trick is, you know, standing up, getting outside of the car, having the cigarette is helping you. Everybody else? Um, yep. Quick question. Uh, I have two hunt rolls, which are basically like saved roll that I can use whenever. Yep. Um, I rolled a 58. Would a 48 make any make much of a difference yes. or not? Yes. It, it would, would make a okay. significant differ difference. And I probably won't ever tell you that again. If you guys ask me that question, I probably won't answer it. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I regret <laughs> having told you that it would make a significant difference. <laughs> That's fair. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'm just wondering, like, can you tell us what we're rolling against or not? Or would you or not? I can't tell you what you're rolling, like what my role is, but I will tell you that a percentage of like 10% is a big deal in this system. Okay. When you're thinking of like, you know, out of a hundred, 10% makes a big difference. So if you wanted to switch that. Cool. I will different. switch it. You, okay. My hunt roll of 48. 48. Okay. Yep. Um, so trick getting outside, smoking that cigarette, you know, smelling the fresh morning air has done really well for you. You actually don't really notice. You don't really feel tired at all. Maybe just what the hell is going on, but not an overwhelming um, exhaustion. Everybody else, you're really tired. Uh, professor, what is it like when you hit your limit? It's probably when he decides to go to sleep, like fine, like can't hold back anymore. It's just okay. I'm I'm gonna have to face the nightmares. Yeah. So you're parked in the parking lot, and you just slowly drift off, and you can't stop yourself yep. from drifting off. Okay, I'll yep, come to absolutely. you in a second. Okay, um, Emma, we have to have discussions, so I'm gonna pause for you for a second, Briar. You rolled a 40 against your 77, so you're actually in the same situation as Trick. You're feeling okay. mentally tired, but physically you're okay. Okay. Um, Brian, you're pretty, pretty fucking tired. Um, this cigarette isn't really picking you up like it usually is. Um, okay. Emma, you're really tired, but you're also bleeding all over yourself when you get really tired it's harder to fight that right those urges that you have so why don't you tell us what it's like when you get too tired to fight that when i get too exhausted mm -hmm. to fight the urge to um either make myself or someone else bleed or something like that, or there's blood present, um, I usually enter a state of kind of a psychosis where I don't recognize reality anymore and people around me aren't the same people anymore and I kind of go on a little bit of a tirade and turn into somewhat of a butcher. So, as you're in the hospital, as you're entering the emergency room, I will let you roll for this if you'd like. Um, you're going to, I mean, you're in the emerge. There are people bleeding or that have wounds right there. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything that would allow you to maybe go to some stored blood or... <laughs> Um, I have conceal, and I also have bedside manner, which could help me conceal my nonsense long enough to get straight in and get to the, the refrigerator, probably. That's a creative way to use that. Um, uh, 
Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to do that. Roll against your conceal. Sixty-four. No, I'm sorry. Oof. Oof. So, um, why don't you? The floor is yours. Tell us how you quench this thirst of yours. So, I probably walk in to my emergency room, but I'm probably too tired to even realize that it's probably a dangerous zone and I'm an ass, so I probably clack myself in and go straight to the counter and look at the person in receiving and I can feel the heat of it behind me. Almost like when you know someone's watching you, but it's like the opposite. Like I can feel it around me and I can feel what's a more critical situation versus what's not so much a critical situation. Um, I slowly put my hand down and the attending lady at the desk, sometimes it's a nurse, sometimes it's just a tech or something like that, would be like, Emma, are you okay? Do you work today? Yeah. I was called in. I was called in for something pretty serious. And I look behind me and I'm gonna see someone who's doubled over holding their side. The chair. I'll take that one off your hands. I know there's probably an empty room. Yeah, Emma, it's fine. You're dressed really nice for this, but whatever. Is Berman back there? Did you come from a con? You came from the conference, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Stop talking. I'm going to. And then I'm gonna walk over to the patient who is doubled over and no one's around them. Like they have no family with them or anything. Sir, I can take you back. Are you in any pain? You look like you're hurting. Let me care for you. And I'm gonna slowly lift him up and he doesn't even look at me. He's just hunched over and holding his side and it's most definitely a gunshot, wa gunshot wound, but he didn't want to say anything because there's a cop in the room. We, we always have a guard in the ED, so he doesn't want to get caught. So he's holding, but he, he doesn't know I know this. I can sense the internal nonsense going on in there. And he's just doubled over and I'm just gonna hold him and look at the front desk. I got him, it's fine, honey, it's fine. And then I'm just gonna kind of black out and zone until I'm in the trauma bay immediately and close the curtain. Just sit on the gurney, it'll be fine. I'm gonna wash my hands. And I turn around and go to the sink and I'm going to look at all the glass and everything just hanging out of my hand. And he's doubled over. He's got no clue what's going and I'm just going to slowly pick him out and toss him at the wall one at a time. Oh, you were good while you lasted. This is going to be so much better. All right, sir, if you could just lay back on the table and the time I head up and put on some gloves. And I'm gonna look at my hands and the powdered latex gloves. Everybody knows the smell. This isn't gonna do, not today. And I slowly just tear them off. All right. So, sir, I sense you have a wound at your side. I'm just gonna grab his clothes and just rip them open. Ooh, was that a gunshot? Sir, you really should have called the police. And I'm slowly gonna press two fingers into the bullet hole and just start to push. Ooh. It's awfully deep, isn't it? Oh, well, he's probably shouting. He starts, and to out. Mount, yeah. he starts to moan a little bit. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry. Please lay back. Please lay back. It's absolutely. It's fine. I'm fine. No one ever runs because no one wants to help. I'm fine. He's fine. Did you have to interrupt our fun? I'm going to walk over to the side where you see all the cupboards and everything, grab my keys as 
start unlocking drawers one after the other and pulling the drawers up. That's the money. Um, and I'm gonna grab a little vial. This won't numb it for you, unfortunately, my dear. But it will help you stay quiet. I'm gonna slowly draw it out into a syringe. You know we don't actually have to flick the syringes anymore. They have this contraption that eliminates the air bubbles. But I feel it adds to the atmosphere. And I'm just going to plunge it straight into his arm and just inject the entire syringe worth of propofol, which is an amnesic paralytic, but he is completely aware and awake the entire time, just 100% paralyzed. Now we're going to have some real fun. How long does that take effect? Or how long does it? It's instantly, and the size I gave him will probably last me a good 15 to 20 minutes. Holy shit. Yes. All right. Yeah, he failed. So yeah, you're. Yep. He stops moving. He can't even scream. He's lying there still, eyes wide open, staring at you, horrified about what you're about to do. Shh. Don't be afraid. I'm gonna take your pain away. It'll be fine. Oh, is that a tear? I'm just slowly going to wipe the tears that are dripping down his face. You didn't have to wait like everyone else in the waiting room. Because I'm here to care for you. And I just plunge my hand straight into the bullet wound and just start to jab my fist in there and start to rank it around and feel all the whatever, everything going in. It's probably near his kidneys-ish, so I'm probably in this area. Just reaching in and pulling on it, and I just grab something and slowly start to squeeze it as hard as I possibly can. I'm thinking it's part liver, but I'm not 100% sure. You can live with like 10% of your liver, but it's extremely painful to have someone touch it. So I just start to squeeze it as much as possible, and his face is turning purple, and his eyes are going out. And even though he's on a paralytic, he's uncontrollably, his entire body is starting to shake. Do you see? Do you see? I told you I would take it away from you. I need it more than you. It's fine. It's fine. I just put my hand over his mouth and pushing his face farther away. It's fine. And that's when the he dies. And I start to kind of... Um... Hmm. (laughs) (laughs) He dies. Um. Yes, absolutely he dies. But uh, you... And I kind of... Yeah, as you're breathing in deeply, you feel better, refreshed. You can clear any track failed on your character sheet right now. Clear it off. It's gone. So now you're kind of coming back to yourself after this moment. What is it like when, I mean, I don't know if, has has Emma lost control like this before? She has, but it's usually been in the ER, like performing surgery or helping with surgery. And so it usually is easy to cover up by a mistake or a slip of the hand or, you know. So this is probably the first time that she's like. Okay. Done it on her own. Take an initiative. Okay. Okay. Um, So what is it like when she comes back to herself and realizes what she's done? Ooh. Oh, it's dirty. Oh, you picked a dirty one. Oh. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Oh, we're fine. Good job. Oh. Well, he didn't survive. Um. Oh. I'm going to pull his wallet out and just start rifling through his cards and his ID probably unfold and there's going to be seven adorable children. (sighs) You're a lot luckier than you know. No money. Hmm. I'm going to tuck it back into his pocket and 
pull a sheet up over him and slowly just watch as the sheet sinks into the divots of his eyes, his empty eye sockets and his open screaming mouth. And I'm just gonna walk up there and close his eyes and try to jam his mouth shut. If you could just, uh, and it just, God, people model so fast these days. You didn't eat well. Hydration's important, sir. And then I fix the sheet nicely again and walk out. Um, we lost one. It was unfortunate. I'm not sure who checked him in, really. I just was walking by to the nurse's station where all the nurses are around. They're used to me probably just stomping around and having my way, because, you know, that's who I am. You, excuse me, you lost one? You what? Um, a patient was admitted with a gunshot wound. I attended it as fast as possible, but by the time I reached the room, he was passed, so... I'm gonna go find Berman. Um, thank you guys so much for helping me out today. Holy shit. I love you. Um, roll a 1d20 for me, which I know is not what we normally roll, but something just happened. I did 18. it right. 18. Yes, you did it right. Okay. As you are exiting this room, you suddenly realize you are able to smell something that you couldn't smell before. And it's a weird sensation. It's kind of like, I don't think you know how to put it into words, but you're overcome with the sense that there was sickness behind you and you can smell what is what blood is yours and what blood is not yours and you've never been able to do that before and the blood that's not yours that's on you is sick and that's the only way you can describe that oh my god um I'm going to go wash my hands again thank you so much for your help you're all wonderful employees of the hospital good job and I'm gonna rush over to a sink really quick and just start to like madly alcohol scrub my arms. What in the fuck is that shit smell? Ow. Oh my god. Ugh. You get it all off. You get it off. Um, do you go back to the car? What do you do after this? Do you I'd go find go see Berman? If Berman's there? Yeah. I'd probably look for him. He is not there, actually. He's not there. He's so not there. I'd probably leave a post-it stuck right in the middle of this computer screen that says, call me if your phone works, patient's missing, question mark. Okay. And then go back out. Well, I'd probably stop and get some gauze or something to wrap on my hand so it looked like I was fixed up by someone. Oh, it's fixed. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd yeah you know. On okay. It. Yeah, so it looks, know, okay. A little, a little, <laughs> Okay, so for the rest of you, aside from the sleeping gentleman in the car, uh, Emma walks out not too long after she went in. It's the fastest ER visit you've ever had. She walks out. She's got a bandage on her hand. She looks like there's an energy about her you've never seen. Uh, Her hair looks silky smooth. Her cheeks full of life, rosy, like she looks great. Oh, thank you for waiting. I'm so sorry if that took forever. I feel exponentially better. Where are so, we up to next? Um, even though he doesn't want to, it definitely feels like a, a twitch in his pee-pee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a way to say that. Uh, yeah, she's she's hot stuff right now. If he now. had a choice, he wouldn't. But he looked at her and went, and it went, and it went, <laughs> Stay down. Trick, you're awfully pale. Maybe you should have another cigarette. I'm fine. You get it all bandaged up. You weren't in I've- there very long. I feel much better. That is the one perk to knowing the entire nursing staff in our tiny town. 
Thank you for asking. Um, right. is the professor asleep in the car? Yeah. It's been a long day. A Should we leave him? Real tired. Leave him where? To sleep, or should we arise him to go elsewhere? Well, he is in the driver's seat, so... Yeah, I, I mean, we, we could him. let him rest. I'll get him up. At least move him to the back seat. I open the passenger door, the driver's side door. Before you wake him, Theo, roll please. Privately. Okay. I have done so. I see that. I'm thinking. It's right on uh, that line, you know? So I'm trying well, to I can make it better for you by using my hunch roll. Ooh, okay. What's your hunch roll? 32. Oh, okay. If you want to do that, I'm not going to pressure you. I will. I'll use okay. it. <laughs> so your dream... So who just burned through their hunch rolls in the first 20 minutes of the show? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I have one more. You do have one more. Yeah. Uh, Theo, as you're sleeping, you do dream of it as you knew you would. You see... You see like a charcoal kind of drawing of it, though. But it's coming to life as, you, as you're dreaming, you know? It's not like you just see it finished. You're watching it get drawn over and over. And you can hear the whispering that you're so familiar with by this point. And you're watching this circle. And it's going really fast. And you can see everything getting made. But when you get to that top symbol that you recognize, the triangle with the line through it, suddenly you see yourself many, many times. Like when you look into a mirror that's positioned right next to another mirror and you can kind of see yourself forever. That's what it looks like. And then the one right up in front looks at you and says, help me, Theo. And then the mirror cracks. And you wake up. Hey, hey Doc. <laughs> hey, Doc. <laughs> Sorry. Hi, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I didn't mean to call you Doc. I don't know if you're a doctor. I know you're a professor. Uh, I have a doctorate, yes. Uh, sorry. Uh, I'm all right. I'm all right. Uh, kind of a, we, kind of like my babies when they're sleeping. You're, you're running away from something or twitching a little bit? Always. Um, Here, why don't you get in the back seat? We're gonna we're gonna head on back. What do you? Do you need anything else, Doctor? Or Professor? Uh, no, no. I Is Emma, and I'm like looking around, let's see you're outside of the car still? Yeah. All right. She's just... It's, it's good. Okay. No. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can move to the back. Okay. Why don't we all go to my place? And I kind of said it loud enough for everyone to hear. Why don't we all go to my place? It's been a long day, and we all could use some sleep. We're no good if we're going to be groggy. Get a few hours of sleep. Tackle whatever we need to tackle fresh in the morning. Sound like a, sound like a plan to everybody else? Sounds like a fabulous plan. Yes. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. I have I a question. Get up and get in the back. Where did Theo put the book? It's on his person. He basically just has it like in his lap. Um, in the lockbox or naked? Naked. It's he took it out of the lockbox and took it with him. If anything, he might like slide it slightly under his coat, but yeah. If it's outside, he wants to know where it is at all times. Okay. So he's holding Still on to this. Still that paranoia. Book. Yep. Yep. Okay. In the back seat. And you're on Briar's still middle bitch, right? Okay. Yeah, I haven't moved. Who's taking over driving? All right. Trick. You're heading back home. Anywhere else first? No. 
Okay. Roll three times for me. Okay. <laughs> and I have this. Is this for driving? Because I have. Yeah. Yes. Because okay. I got drive you wild um, <laughs> as a skill for 25 whatever points. <laughs> okay, here we go. 50. Okay. Two more. Oh, come on, come on. There it is. 54. Okay. And 16. 16. Okay. You arrive into your driveway. Uh, your garage door is closed. It is now, the sun has risen. It's now probably, what, six? No, 5.45? Yeah. It's probably yeah. 5.45 in the morning. Um, the sun is not up yet, but you can see that, you know, there's it's coming up. The sky is brighter. It's early wee hours of the dawn. All right. I got two guest rooms. A couch. Professor, yes. If you if you don't object, you can, or if I don't object, you can sleep in my bed with me. It's gonna be get more comfortable that way. Uh, I want everybody get a good night's sleep. So that means there's two guest rooms and a couch and a king size bed, right? Your bed is king size. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The Did you guest have like a late- normal size though? It probably only fit one. Okay. Did you have like a, a lazy boy or a that like kind of a recliner in the kit or the the living room as well, or it was just couches? Yeah, it's a sectional. It's, it's a pretty big sectional. I'm okay. picturing like a like a like a corner corner sectional. So I mean, ostensibly three people could sleep in the in the living room, like one on one on one section, one on the other section, and one in the chair if someone wants to sleep there. Yeah, I'll I'll take that chair sleep better sitting up anyway all right i'm like very uncomfortable about the thought of going to sleep because the last time something when this shadowy figure was in my life it woke me up in the middle of the night and attacked me so i'm just kind of standing there awkwardly listening because i really don't want to go to bed well you know now that i think better of it honestly I'm going to stay down in the living room um, because if anything or anyone tries to get in, I want to be down on the ground floor. So we got my room and two guest rooms upstairs. I don't think floors are going to keep things from getting in. No, I mean, why risk though? We can all leave quickly if we're on the same floor. All right. Uh, let's hope there's not a third or fourth car in your garage when you open that. Open the garage door. Expecting to see the professor's car, a duplicate of my car that's got a kind of fucked up front end. And that's it. As you open the garage door... That's it! You heard me, I said that's it! (laughs) The garage door is slowly opening, and you see one vehicle. The professor's car. The other vehicle is not there. And Brian is really pissed about it, because he knew it. (laughs) I'm sorry, Brian. I rolled Fuck. I rolled a 99, man. That's as close to a critical <laughs> fail as you can get. There's one car. <clears throat> well, look at the bright side. Now you got parking again, so let's fucking roll. Although you must have left. Yeah. Like, drove away or yeah. let's left. Who, either or is probably pretty potentially the case. Doctor, you don't look well. You look better than you should. Thank you. All right. I pull in, turn it off, turn on the car, close the garage door, get out. 
walk into the house. I mean, okay. um, I'm listening for the sound of my pups, my puppies. Yeah, you hear them. They come running. Um, hey, they're very babies. excited to see you. Hey, babies. They jump up. Well, they jump up for you, or do they not? I know they behave for everybody else. But do you let them jump no, up if, on you? If, if I do this. Yeah, then they can. Okay, yeah. so I'm assuming you do that, yeah. and then, then they can jump up and, and greet you. Here. Yeah, come, comfort come you, make babies. you feel better. Yeah. Okay. I'd be lagging behind, waiting to go last, so I can check the trunk. I'm in the garage looking at the trunk, and I'm planning to check it also. Oh. Okay, so you're waiting, because uh, I'd be kind so of... So you two are awkwardly like, whenever you're ready. I just want to open it. I just want to make sure Dr. Bellow's not in there. I'd probably go inside, and I'd actually go to the kitchen to see if uh, Trick 2.0 left that note that I'd asked him to do. Okay. Um, and I'd just follow Trick into the house. Okay. What would you... So... Brian, roll for me. Mm hmm. 24. Well, I rolled a 29. So, yes, there is a note. Uh -huh. Got lower than me. <laughs> There's a note on the table, and I will tell you what it says in a minute. Okay. Let's, uh, let's visit this trunk. Who's doing what? Who's opening the trunk? Anybody? Are you awkwardly so like, are you going to do it? Do you want me to pop it? I can. I, start I can going. get it, but you may not like what you see. Why is she? Ba Did you guys lie to me? She's freaking back in there. She's not. Then who is? Or is is what else? What is in there? I don't know. And I, I just, I sound exhausted, and I just pop the trunk. Oh my god! I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Baby needs love. Yeah, he you does. never say no to baby. Never. Okay. Um, what's in that trunk? <laughs> <laughs> Roll, please, both of you. Huh. Oh no. Oh. You got prior a what? But I got doubles. Does that mean anything? <laughs> it you does. Got it, it, it means it makes it stronger, whatever the oh. effect is. So if it's yeah. a failure, awesome. then it's a bigger fail. I will remind I you, you do have two hunch rolls. I know. I kind of want to use one of my hunch rolls on this. Okay. You absolutely can do that if you'd like. No pressure. I, do, I think it would be smart, too, and I'm going to do a 52. All right. Uh, professor got a 43. Yes. When you open the trunk, Professor, you see... Briar's dead body in the trunk. She's looking up at you. Her front, her chest has been cut open. Um, her mouth is open and she's very clearly dead. But you can see a blue haze around her. Yeah. Something strange. Still seeing, still seeing yeah. Emma's, uh, Emma's aura. That's right. Yeah. Briar, when he opens the trunk, you see Emma lying there with her chest ripped open almost identical to the position and even the frame now that you think about it like her body like everything is identical to the previous body that was in the trunk um, her eyes are open staring wide at you and in fact you think she blinks for a second huh that's all you do just, huh huh yeah, and I, I'm just, I'm looking, because it, it looks so much like how Dr. Bellow. Roll. I look at the door where she just went in, and I'm looking back at the body. It doesn't scare me all that much. Right. And I'm looking at you, seeing you look at your body, <laughs> not freaking out. It's probably best. If you, does anybody else know? Trick knew, right? Or was it Brian that was there with me? Brian was, it was there Brian. with you. Brian yeah. was the only other one that knew this. Mm -hmm. Did you see it too, Trick? Oh, you did. Yeah, Trick but... saw it too. But later. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so everyone now has seen this ex except him. It's fine. Right. Uh, 
All right. So Brian and Trick have already seen this. You're taking it very well. I'm going to close the trunk and I'm just going to be like, all right. And I walk inside. Like holding onto my book, looking at that. Look back at her. Like, the aura doesn't match. And then I kind of mumble that while I'm walking back in. Okay. You guys are now in the house. What are you doing? What's the plan of action? Is there one? Um, I look around for any sign of anything like out of place or whatever. And no. then... <laughs> Looks about the I'm, way you left it. As I'm walking by like the floor to ceiling window that leads to the backyard, the patio, the hot tub and all that shit back there. Because I got a nice deck in the back with like, you know, nice shrubbery and shit. <laughs> I, pa- I I look out, and I I sp- remember that that uh, other trick told me where they put that body out in the out in the rose bush or not the rose bush but the underneath the hedge or whatever. So are you I'm standing gonna, by? Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm gonna go have a look at it. Okay, I'm gonna. F- I'm going to be inside, and if I see Trick going over there, are you just looking out the window at it? Or are you going to go outside? Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm starting to go outside right now. I'm going to go to the window and just watch what he's doing. Okay. Brian, there's a note on the counter. It says, For Brian's eyes only. And I will send you a DM of what it says. Oh. Secret. We, I would like to know, to know, though. I would probably take it right now. Obviously, you're going to have to get it all fold up and put it in my pocket. I was so just going to ask if you share it with anyone, because then nope. I'll read it out loud. Okay. <sighs> nope. All right. Very nonchalant. Just pick it up like it's a piece of paper, put it in my inner pocket without making a scene, and just lean on the, lean on the counter. Okay. Emma? What you doing? I probably just went to the living room and sat on the couch and messing with my phone or something. Okay. Very nonchalant and relaxed. And yeah, you I'm not feel very so tired fucking anymore, good. So I feel great. Yeah, like I'm you went to a spa for two weeks. Probably. I probably am mm. acting like nothing's going on. Yeah. Couldn't be bothered. No. Uh, Theo, what about you? Are our phones working? Just side note. They are. Yes. They are. Okay. I'm probably clearing emails then and going through. Uh, I'm making coffee. Okay. Uh, I'm assuming you're attempting to stay awake. No. Okay. Well, not so. You know those power know naps really you nap for 15 him. minutes after uh-huh. drinking a bunch of coffee. That's how he tries to get through some days. Okay. So it does like a little bit of sleep, still has the nightmares, but it's not terribly long, and then he wakes up feeling more refreshed because okay. of the coffee kicking in. Okay. All right. Trick, you're walking out. I will give Brian a chance to react to Trick leaving and walking out because you pocketed the note. The Trick leaving and walking out? I yeah. wouldn't react, actually. I wouldn't. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm just playing cool. Yep, got it. Mm-hmm. All right, Trick. You're walking out to this hedge. What do you do? Well, I'm looking to see, like, fresh... I'm assuming there's, like, fresh dirt, like, a nice, like, something that will, like... The, I'm, I'm assuming they bought it at, like, a, you know, home and garden store or whatever, like a bush or whatever plant they got. Well, and I'm just looking around to see... Okay. Uh, uh, can we do... Uh, analyze? <laughs> we absolutely can. Excellent. I'm going to analyze the scene to see if there's anything that really sticks out. Okay. Okay. Ooh, 11. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> In that case. Um, <laughs> my analyze is 25. My mind, or my mind, right? Yeah. Is it? Hold on one second here. Not having two monitors is terrible. 
<laughs> I can uh, Yeah, my easy. mind is 70, and my analyze is 25, so. Okay, yeah, so critical, yeah. almost a critical success for those listening. Like, oh, and a double. Rolls. That's a double. Oh, it yeah. is a double roll. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay. <gasps> In that case... Can we get like a double Jeopardy sound? Yeah. Yeah. Bring, 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 bring. (laughs) Thank you for carrying this entire party on your back with your rolls half the time. (laughs) This is so weird. I roll well here, but never in (laughs) DD. As you're walking out into the yard, you start to hear the whispering again. And you're. You can see shadowy figures with trails, it looks like, as they go around and, you know, bend over and they're moving and something's happening. And you can gather you're watching you in a different reality, maybe, bury a body in your yard. Like you're you're watching this what you're watching as three people it takes three people to use one shovel taking turns as they like dig this hole and put someone in it then they cover it up with dirt and then put a fucking hedge over top but when you focus on it there's no hedge there but you know somewhere there's another trick standing here looking at a hedge that is actually there say that one more time which part the last part yeah the last about the hedges okay you know that somewhere there's a trick standing here looking at a hedge that is there. But I'm looking at one. No, there's no hedge here. There's no hedge here. But you're standing where you know Uh huh. there is a hedge. Is there fresh dirt on the ground? No. Nope. So no signs of digging, no hedge, no nothing. Right. I'm going to kneel down and like touch the touch the grass and the dirt. It looks like regular dirt, like it hasn't been moved, but when you touch it, it is moist. Like it has been, like it's fresh dirt. That's what it feels like, but it doesn't look like that. I feel like I would be out on the deck at this point. Yep. Watching him. And I'll see that he's doing this. Yeah. And I'll be like leaning on the deck and You want to dig it up? I'll help you dig it up. I uh get up from the from the crouch. I turn around. You don't remember there being a hedge here, do you? When the other trick was here, did we all see the hedge out there? I feel like we did. You did. There was a hedge there when the other trick was here. It's gone. Yeah. I don't think there's anything left to dig up anymore. I'm guessing whatever was here is now in the SUV that is now gone with Trick in it. But do you want to be sure? Do you think we should poke around in there? Do you think we could find something that'll help or at least curiosity sake um as I look around like do I see like like any sort of like cause, cause I would keep 
anything that's within my fence, within my property line, I would make sure that the gardener, the law, the whoever keeps my lawn, was here like on a regular basis to keep it green and nice and stuff. So I'm looking to see if there's a, like a trail leading to the house or to the garage or something like that because there's a door that leads not only to inside the house from the garage but there's a door from the garage to the back so if I was going to dig up a body I wouldn't take it through the house and leave a dirt trail I would take it straight through the door so I'm looking for any sort of trail from here to the garage door leading to the backyard so when you look and you say to yourself if I were to take a body through here I wouldn't you know take it through the house you can see that ethereal shadowiness it's not in a form this time but you can kind of see a trail of it as it walks back not through the house exactly the way you would do it but there is nothing physically present like the grass there isn't any trail or anything in the grass or nothing's bent but you can kind of see like a pathway with this shadowy residue I don't see them right roll okay 78 no you did not Okay. Hey, Briar. Yep. There's a trick from the future, so to speak, or we believe that he is, or whatever. We've seen the cuts and all that kind. Of, I'm I'm walking back to her, not to the garage, but to her. You saw when I cut myself, and he got cut. Yeah. And it healed up and whatnot. Yeah. I can't call him. But I can send him a message for sure. To future trick? You want to send him a message? Yeah, but it's got to be something that he'll they'll stay on him for a little bit. Meaning you- I might have to cut a message into myself I mean there I are I don't like that what about a tattoo I could do that too but cutting would be quicker yeah, we have to wait but... for the tattoo shops to open up unless we want to do a prison style which I certainly don't want to do that well you look at my arm I've been around it enough I can try to do it fast if we could find a kit Well, that's why I'm asking you. I'm roping you into this because I'm wondering if there's any other way we can do it. Tattoo's a good idea. Can you think of anything else? That would not hopefully be too painful or permanent because, you know, I got to keep in shape. (laughs) Camera quality and all. Is there a place in your house you could leave something your future trick would find? An email, a text, something like that? I thought about that, but if I send it, it'll be in this time period, not in the future. Mm. What if I could send stuff back to me? Like if he did something, I bet it could come back to me, but it can't go forward. I don't think. I mean, I I don't know how your phone buzzes. Trick. Uh, hold on a second, Briar. It seems I'm getting a phone call or a text. I uh, open it up and look at it. It just says, this is a test. What is it? Who is it from? It looks like it's from your number. I text back. What does it say? I, I show it to her. This is a test. Speak of the devil. I text back. 
What day are you on? Three. You? Motherfucker. It's not even the same one. That motherfucker was on day four. We got another one on day three. Yeah, but why is he texting you? It doesn't... Because that's what I would do. Fuck. You know Um... what? Hold on. I texted. I texted back. What does it say? Uh, I say day one. And I, I keep... I go on to say... Uh, you know anything about, a uh, gardening in my backyard? The text is all caps, and it says, Cemetery. text back yes I have been there recently to visit our father amongst other things what are you referring to there's no response While he's doing this, I'm going to, like, scan the woods and everything and see if I see shadows or anything. Okay. Go ahead and roll. And at this time, guys, they've been out there for 15 minutes, maybe. I'll give you guys an opportunity to react if you would like one. Is that a 12, Briar? 12. Ooh. I'm going to ask you something. Okay. Please remember that that if she sees anything. Um, please remember, everything comes at a cost. Do mm-hmm. you want to see them? Not right now, because there's nothing presenting itself that I feel like is necessary. I just wanted to see if that thing I've always seen in my life is watching. You don't see anything. Okay. What, what does it say? Nothing. I'm going to give him a call. All right. I put it on speakerphone. Okay, it rings. There is a pickup, but it's quiet and very staticky. Hello? Trick, is that me? You dialed your number? Uh, yeah, I dialed the number, whichever the, whatever the texts are coming from. Okay. There's nothing but static for a minute. Hello? Hold on. I'm going to try something else. I hang up. I look up. Uh... FaceTime. You have an Apple phone? Yeah. I guess so. I don't. <laughs> but Trick, trick, trick does. does. Sure, got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, FaceTime. FaceTime. And I make sure both of us are in it. While it's ringing, I'm going to tell Trick. Your other Trick told me before we left that I needed to be careful. Careful of what? He didn't say. He just told me to be careful. Well, that's just like me. Leave it fucking open. Do you know what it means? Yeah, probably. Well, not specifically. It probably means be careful, but I can't tell you any details because... uh, One reason or another, I'm guessing... If you knew, it would hurt. There's no connection. It's a failed call attempt. It rang for a couple minutes, but then nothing happened. 
Fuck it. Uh, I'm gonna check something real quick, and I, I jog around to the to the garage door uh, that leads to the back. Is there like fresh dirt, shit like that, drag marks, anything? Roll. You're around the back of the house now, right? Like where the shed yep. and shit is. Yep. Forty-seven. Forty-seven. What is your governing soul stat? Uh, Seventy. I'll look. Seventy. Okay. There's blood on the ground. Dried fresh. Fresh. And it is in a trail. It is in a trail? Yes. Okay. I probably would have followed him at least like at some sort of distance just to not be alone. Of course. Hey, Briar. I would have called you over. Hey, Briar. Yeah. You want to come take a gander at this real quick? I jog over. Do you see blood there? Do I see blood? On the ground there. Roll. 87. Please remember everything comes at a cost. Does Briar want to see? Could I give her my, my roll? <laughs> my hunch roll? You know, I will trade out my <laughs> other hunch roll to 56. Yeah, you, you told see me it. To take them away. Okay. Yeah, I see I see blood. Is it a lot of blood? Yeah. It's a Holy significant shit. amount. So you and see it, that then. It yeah. does look like it originated closer to the shed. Like something happened there and then there is a dragging. I'm going to go in There's a garage door open. Like can I go in there? Hey Briar. Yeah. You want to hold up a second? Oh god, that's fucking coming from outside. There was a like a fucking whooping crane or some shit that just like <laughs> went right by the fucking window. It was like, rap, rap, rap. was like, Jesus, was that a sound effect in the game? Fuck me. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. That's all right. <laughs> I apologize. Um. Anyway, uh, I looked at Briar and I say, well. This may sound kind of weird, but, uh, and I reach down to my ankle and I grab, grab my revolver and I hand it butt first to her. I take it. I don't know, but I got this strange feeling. The way Trick was talking to me and the way he told us to be careful. I, I don't want to take no chances. If something like makes me go crazy, like it did in that in the professor's office or whatever. Ooh, wait, what? I don't want. I don't want you to be put in danger. What the fuck does that mean? You can keep the gun, and then you can fucking make sure nothing happens. I'm talking. That's protection for you from me. Is there something you're not fucking telling me? I got a weird feeling. That's all. I swear. Can I charm her and make her believe me? <laughs> you absolutely can. Am I hearing okay. that? Yes, you are. Fuck. Just like that, you hear this breathing, this like growl, this wolf like right behind you, Briar, as he's telling you that. Does he, is he hearing this? Are you hearing this? You fucking hearing this? Honey, calm down now. I'm gonna. I want to turn around. Char let him roll his charm roll. Okay, yeah, let me. That's all right. Okay, I am going to try to uh, give you those bedroom eyes. Yeah, do it. <laughs> do it. Here we go. Twenty-five governing skill seventy. Nine. Nine. Oh man. Okay, now. Nine. <laughs> I. A couple of things happen here. Okay. Trick, you fill up the one slot. 
Oh, what? No, I don't think so. I think it's just yeah, you're, you've got the sticker up, so that's why. Look at Twitch. What? You have oh. the, the brick wall is up again. Oh, weird. Okay. Well, I will fix it in a second. You're not here anyway. Your screen is black, so we're okay. A um, <laughs> couple of things happen. Trick, you filled your bar, I think, right? That was the last. You only oh, had one it? left. Oh, shit. I didn't know I triggered something. No, it, I'm just saying it's filled now. So I w- the, that thing the, will happen the, at some point. Not right sorry, now. This, the yep. special stuff bar, you're saying? Yep. Mm-hmm. The okay, special cool. stuff bar is now full. You were at four Woo-hoo! out of five, right? Yes, I was. Yeah, you are now five out of five. Please explain. Yeehaw! Please would explain what it's like every time you really, like you're seducing her pretty much. So please tell us what that's like. <laughs> Um, so it's kind of like, you know how, uh, like a hypnotist, Mm -hmm. but it's not, it's not like, it's a, it's a, there's a calming, I have a way of calming people just with the sound of my voice. It's got a, hopefully a pleasant drawl to it. A little southern, but also very. You want to trust the voice, and it's it's kind of like if it's like a warm blanket. It kind of envelops you, and it makes you feel comforted, but also like protected. That kind of thing. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, is this this is happening before I hear anything? No, you heard something, okay. as he was saying, it's to protect you from me, and okay. then he's charming you now. Okay. So since that's how it makes me feel, I probably wouldn't freak out. No, you probably started to, and then as he was like, "No, calm <laughs> down." Yeah. And I hear it behind me. And I'm gonna. I'm just gonna walk closer to Trick and touch his arm. Do you hear? And then it? you hear like it's kind of like a. There's sort of a, a a minor reverberation to it. No, no, no. But everything's gonna be fine, fine, fine. fine. I feel like I'm in a trance. And I hear it. Is it just behind me making noise this entire time? No, it stopped. It stopped. You still hearing it, honey? No. All right. I I won't let you hurt me. Good. Now I want you to look in my eyes. I'm going to take off my glasses. I want you to look in my eyes. And I want you to promise me. If I do try or say anything, you let me know that you know, or you put me down. Do you get my meaning? Yes. I good, promise. Good, 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 good. Briar. You're going to roll our first ever saving throw. Um, what? Yeah. I dropped my mouse. Uh, I was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, from another player. Oof. Okay. Oh, boy. Okay, this is a significant check. Oh, no. I'm lying. This is a major oh. skill check. Okay. Oh, Jesus. For reasons. Mm, okay. Okay, so... Let me read this to you. You only succeed if you roll equal to or under your skill, not your governing stat. If you okay. do not have a suitable skill, you may attempt a major skill check by rolling against the appropriate stat and hoping for a Hail Mary. Only matched successes and criticals succeed. That's insane. 
So, all right. Um, let's see. I think you do have a stat you can use, though, so you don't need to hope for a Hail Mary. Let me just pull up your sheet. Okay. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. It's the third one. May I read it out loud? Yes. Slip into the shadows. It's at 15. Okay. So I roll it, and I have to get under a 15. 15 or under, yep. <laughs> okay. No, no, hold on. What is she What is she saving against? You'll see. Oh, okay, okay. It's a mystery to me, too. I don't... Okay. Can I get buses in chat? What are the chances? 15%. I mean, <laughs> okay, I need, I need some buses in yeah, chat. Yeah, buses, um, please. Let's go. Oh, God. Buses in the chat. If something bad happens to Trick, because of me, I'm going to be so upset. <laughs> All right. 11. That was a 65. So, Briar, I would like you to write what he just said to you down on your sheet so you don't okay. forget it. And what he said exactly, because I also wrote it down, was if I do anything or say anything, you let me know or you put me down. Okay. <laughs> I know, I think I know what this means and I am... Mm, Oh right. god. Okay. All right. I'm going to pause there and go back inside the house. Okay. Emma, Brian, Professor, what have you guys been up to while they've been out in the yard? So it's making coffee. I love this whole camera thing, by the way. Can I it's just so that? cool. I love it. Yeah, it's really neat. I'm probably sitting on the couch, completely oblivion to, to everyone anything. else. Okay. Yeah. All In right. bliss, relaxed bliss, looking for my phone. Okay. Perfect. Um, I probably dead. texted Berman. Hello. Exclamation mark, exclamation mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh. Three times. There's no response. Men. <laughs> Anybody else? Um, dead tired, and I would probably actually go to one of those spare bedrooms upstairs and uh, lie down and sleep. Ooh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, please roll. <laughs> what? <laughs> tired. <laughs> Doubles. <laughs> <gasps> really? Is it a success? Oh, 77. 77. Oh, no. Do, 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 okay. do, do, do. Oh, not? No. Well, well because you your governing Double. soul stat is 70, so you failed it by seven points. So this is oh. good. Okay. But that's okay. Oh. Oh. That, that. As you sleep, please tell us what you dream about. It is not a good dream. It is oh. not a good dream. It is not a good dream. Please tell us. Get your tissues. <laughs> hey, now. We should probably <laughs> step out. Uh, do I add dramatic effect to this? Yes. All right. <gasps> it's a dark room. It's a bedroom. Oh, man. I know I'm going there. Okay. All right. All right. There, it's a, it's almost a time is frozen. And lying on the bed is uh, a woman in her 30s and a girl approximately 10 years old. Lifeless, not moving. There's a, a lot of blood on the sheets and it's been soaked in quite well and I'm standing at the other end of the bed room looking at the bed and you can feel this dark exterior circumferencing this dimly lit situation 
and all I can hear in the back of my mind is screaming. Screaming of my wife and my daughter. And then um, it just fades to black. And that's where we're going to take our break. God damn it, I want to know what's going on! What happened? (laughs) (laughs) And that's where we're going to take our break, everybody. Whew! Stretch. Go get some water. Take a pee. Wash your piss (laughs) mittens. And we'll be right back.
welcome back, everybody. I hope your break was lovely and nice and refreshing and that you rolled well. We're going to dive. Take a break? Yeah. Well, I just mean, <laughs> there. I'm sure someone ate a sandwich. At least I hope you did. Um, <clears throat> shall we dive right back in? I think so. Brian. We left yes. off with Brian in his dream. Um... How long were you sleeping, Brian? I'm gonna say two hours. Two hours, all right. You wake up and you're sweating. Have you had this dream before? Yes, only when I'm sober. Wow, just <laughs> stab me, why don't you? Okay, What's, so what happens with Brian when he wakes up? Uh, wake up in a cold sweat. Almost lost a breath from the heart rate increase. <sighs> oh, I would I'd step real quickly, wipe my face a little bit with my hand, and just kind of rub it on Trick's bedroom sheets. Uh, I would uh, probably uh, stumble downstairs stairs, and then stop midway stairs. And remember that I had that note in my pocket. Oh shit! I was supposed to write that to you on break. I'll do oh, it right well, now. Oh, then we'll, we'll, we'll scratch it. We'll wait for it. No, nope, it's okay. It. No, pull it nope. out. No, nope, pull it out. Okay. <laughs> so, I pull out the parchment. Um, what? Pull it out? What? Yeah. I, as soon as I said that, I was like, oh no. Everybody. Phrasing. Phrasing. Um. <clears throat> and it says. Yep. I read really slowly. Sorry. Oh, that's good. It's, good. it's fine. It's a detailed list of the events the trick went through. Yep. Uh, and there are seven there. So at any point, you can do the thing that I just wrote to you. So you can do that up to seven times. If that makes sense. Okay. Did I just ask you in DM? Yeah. Or you okay. can ask out loud, is that on the list? And I will say mm. yes or no. Okay, I'll ask him privately for this one. Okay. I'll ask privately for this one. Okay. So I I, I, I brush through it. Um, am I happy or, or upset with this list? It's weird. There's some... It's weird? Yeah. I know what you want to ask me, and yes, that is on there. I'm assuming okay. that's what you wanted to ask me, right? That's one of them. Yep. yep. Yeah, that's on there. You can also right. ask in DM if you want, and I'll say yes or no. Okay. I will I will ask DMs to get it all caught up to it, but I'll have it in my head right now, banked, and I'll all hold right. it up and put it back in my pocket. Right there. It even sticks out a little bit. Why not? Go down to the kitchen, walk right past the kitchen. Uh, is anyone else awake right now? Two hours yeah. have gone by. Yeah, you're. I'm white. Right as rain. Couch. Yeah. Is there a TV? I probably would have put it on and put on the Bachelor reruns or something. Just be chilling. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I'm sure he's got probably the best cable package, all sorts of stuff, right, Trick? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Got I would go right over to the liquor cabinet, actually. Uh, okay. Bolt right there, and I would see that bottle of open bourbon from prior. And the glass right beside it, and I would just be looking at it, tapping my fingers, staring at it, thinking about pouring one to kind of numb back up. Hey, Brian, did you use that gr that glass previously? I think I did, yeah. Then it's in the sink. <laughs> is that in the sink? Yeah, it's in the sink. He wouldn't have left it out. Like Oh, uh, you would. Oh, trick. The other trick would have? Okay. Yeah, he, he wouldn't have left it out. He would have grabbed it and put it in the sink or in the dishwasher. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Now I'd probably just grab a new one that you probably have on that shelf. Oh, yeah. Grab a brand new one, put it on the counter. Now just tap and stare at the glass. 
And I probably wouldn't pour one. And I would just stare at it for a little bit. And I would just uh, go over to the living room, sit down in a chair. Do you take it with you? No. You home. leave the glass there. Okay. I'll, I'll leave it all there. All right. Who else is in the living room? Briar, Trick. I will get back to you in just a second. Theo. Yeah. So I did my, my power nap, essentially, mm-hmm. which was probably chug a couple cups of coffee and will myself to sleep for about a half an hour, which isn't hard. I'm exhausted. Yeah. Okay. But I, I'm sitting in the recliner. I just made me recline it like a little bit, uh, and I'm just clutching the book while I pass out. Okay, roll. I mean, obviously, you're clutching the book. I don't let go of it. And now that I have it out, I I probably haven't set it down once. Okay. That is a 31. Oh, boy. Oh, I don't see it. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Wow, that took me a minute uh, for it to come through on my end. Sorry about that. That just happened for me, too. Yeah, okay. 31. 31. On a good day, a good version of this dream, what is that for the professor? Because I don't imagine there is a single night where he doesn't see it. No, he sleep- every time he sleeps, he sees it. Yeah, um, but on a good night... On a good night, he still feels rested when he wakes up. Okay. Um, but he sees probably a little more detail with it, but less foreboding. Um, more so as if feelings it's are different for him. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. it's if anything, it's almost like a normal drawing, is what it kind of looks like. So he can kind of analyze it a little bit more while he's sleeping, rather than it taking over things. Okay, he's able to see it a little clearer, but it doesn't fuck him up as much. All right, I like. It's a that. rare night that this happens. It's yeah. very rare. Yeah. Um, he usually tries to stay asleep longer if possible. So. We'll say that you're sleeping for half an hour. You have this kind of clinical version of this dream. There are no attached feelings of dread or fright or anything like that. Um, In fact, you can, I feel like when you first wake, you probably see the symbols very fresh in your mind. Um, But this is so rare that you probably go back to bed for, you're able to sleep for 52 minutes, a whole hour. Um, That's a lot. That's a lot of sleep for you. So you will be awake at this point, though, since it's been two hours and he's come down and they're having a... Oh, I thought you guys were having a conversation, but you're not. Um, And you are awake now. But you are feeling a bit more refreshed. Still tired, but not more so than normal. Yeah. Morning, Brian. Morning, Professor. Sleep, okay. No. You? Better than normal. There's coffee. I kind of point over to the kitchen if you drink it. No, I'm good. I'm come have a seat in the living room, would you? Oh, yeah. I probably was in the kitchen, maybe like eating an egg or something. <laughs> and then would pop over and sit back down in the recliner. By the way, Trick has cameras and microphones everywhere, so I, g- I get to know exactly what's going on here. Just want you to know, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you I was like, oh, no! was what a-, a reveal. Okay. No, I'm kidding. What, do you have a panic room, too? <laughs> he, he might. He might, actually. Yeah, panic he might room, actually have sense. a panic room, but I don't know. Um, With a doggy door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the paw print recognizer, like, boom. <laughs> dog <laughs> one. <laughs> or dog two. <laughs> so it's us three yep. in the room now. That's right. Yep. I'm responding. Was everybody else? Yeah. S- sleeping still, I think. So actually, let's pause here and ask. 
briar trick after oh, this God. exchange. I'm so sorry to do this, but That's I am. Okay. There's fine. two hours. I'm wondering what happened here with you two after this conversation. Wait, we, I was going to go in the shed because all the blood trail led to the shed, and that's why I gave her the gun. Oh, because shit. whatever's in the okay, yeah. well, that's what I'm right. saying. Whatever's yeah. in the shed, that's her protection from it. Does the uh, thing that he said to me does it make me enamored with him, or is that's it more? Up to you. Com- is it like a calming thing? That's up to you. Okay, I don't know how she would interpret that or how that would make her feel, but what I will tell you is that. Twice well, now, when you've been frightened, Trick's calming voice has taken away that fear. Yeah. I think it's kind of like how, like, like uh, uh, charlatan tarot card readers, they you they make you apply what they're what's on the table to yourself. You give them the information. You read it, and you go, "Oh, you're right." I am absent-minded some of the time. Mm. So it's different for everybody. So okay. whatever you think that would calm Briar down, make her feel comforted. Like Ooh. maybe it's, maybe it's her, her grizzled old grandfather or maybe it's her gay friend from high school or something like that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does So when Trick does this, does he give people feelings? So it's like... You want her to feel comfortable and you want her to feel safe, but is she associating that with Trick? Or is she just like remembering her granddad in that moment and going, okay, you know what? He said it was okay, so it's fine. Like how, when Trick uses this ability, is he, is he charming with himself or using something that already exists in their psyche? It's, I think it's something that already exists in their psyche. Meaning like, when they, when, and this, I'm developing this as, as we go yeah, along. This, yeah. is, this is the first time like something mm-hmm. like that's happened. And we talked about this during the break. The reason why it's different this time, not like for, for Trick especially, because there was something, he felt something this time. Something changed. Something minor, but something very, very definite. But also, there was a caring that he hasn't felt. Trick is a disconnected person. Tries to separate himself from love, or emotions, connections. That's why he has all these guest rooms, but no one's ever stayed in them. And this time, we have shared something. So there's an affection there. I'm not, I don't know. It's not necessarily love or... Uh, sexual desire or anything like that, but it's definitely like something uh, deeper than than what he's used to. And uh, but also there was like I don't I don't know how to say it. There was like a hint of magic, which is kind of the unexplainable thing. But getting back to my my larger point, when she when someone. If he uses this ability or whatever, or this happens again, I picture it like, okay, just just take the example of the grizzled grandfather. Like that's what comforts you. That's what makes you feel safe or makes you feel like you can trust this person. When you look at Trick, you see like, like it's like a picture on a picture, like a, a see-through picture, but you see like, I have his features for just a split second. Mm-hmm. Like I have like the gray beard or the 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 push broom mustache or whatever like your grandpa had. Okay. Just for a split second and then it's gone, but you don't you notice it but you don't notice it. Kind of like the fight club like Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause, yeah, because I think Trix told Briar that he believes her, he's comforted her. Like there's something, at least for Briar, that's more than just she has with the others. So I'm sure I'm like in a fog. A little bit, but I'm probably coming out of it a little bit. And I'm going to tuck the gun in the back of my pants. And I'm still touching. I'm going to touch Trick again, and I'm going to say, I'm sorry you saw it. I'm glad I did. I wanted... It gives me a better idea of... What you've been going through for... 
power of law. I am well, sorry. It's not your fault, though. I think it kind of is. Did you ask that thing to be here? Or is it just following you? I mean, I, I, it's, I think it's following me, but... None of this would have happened if it wasn't for me. I mean... What are you going to do? Stop living your life? Talk to no one forever? Go live in the forest? Hang yourself? Like, you can't do that. You came to the right people, though. I think each and every one of us has something that brought us together. I'm going to look off into the forest. Because the comment about if I just went off and took care of myself. It's going to, like, hang myself. Like, I'm just going to think about that for a minute. But I'm not going to say anything. Well, maybe I can stop it. Don't do anything. Don't do anything drastic now. I'm here with you. We'll fight it together. Whatever it is. It's not your fault. And I don't blame you. I'm gonna open the shed now. You stand behind me. Make sure you got that gun in a good place. Right, Make sure you're ready to grab it. <laughs> I'm not gonna need to use it. Well, I hope so too, because kind of like having my body like with the holes that it's supposed to have. Yeah, I would like to keep it that way too. Alright. And I take I look at, because my shed, I would lock it with a padlock. Is the padlock still on there? Nope. Is it on the ground? Is it yep. just unlocked there? It's on yep. the ground. Is the door there... is closed though. It's not open. But the padlock, it looks like it's been broken. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's been broken, not unlocked. Right. All right, I go down and I, I pick up the padlock. See, like, does it look like it was, like, bashed or, like, someone took a fucking shotgun to it or something? Like, what, what happened to it? Can you roll? I can. I'd Thank love you. to roll. I I'd would love to analyze to roll this. As well. Analyze it. I'm going to analyze this analyze lock. Analyze it, baby. <laughs> Did you say I need to roll or no? Um, if you would like to try to figure out what's wrong with this lock, then yes. Okay. I would hold it up to you. Okay. Ooh, I rolled a 19 under Ooh, my 25. Okay, in your analyze. So, yeah. And let's see what... Oh, Briar, 44. Okay, it doesn't matter because as he holds it up yeah. to show you... It looks like it's been hit with the butt end of a shovel. Mm. Okay. Now, does she get anything for double? She got a 44. She does. Um, I'd say you also feel in agreement, without hesitation, a shovel did that. You've done this kind of stuff before, right, Briar? Yeah. <laughs> just just mm. recently. <laughs> just, you know, just a few things dabbled in the dabbled in it. So yeah, you you know that uh, this lock has been broken by a shovel. Well, is your shovel around here? Is it just in the garage? Normally, I didn't look when, when we get, got home this time. How far but, is the garage uh, from where we are? Oh, he's got a big backyard. Trick, how far oh. away is your shed from your garage? Well, I'm trying to picture it here. I'm no, I'm no good with measurements. In these like homes like this, I imagine you've got a bit of a garden area and then the shed. Yeah, yeah. So I imagine they can kind of see you from the window, but they don't really see what you're up to because there's like bushes and shit. Right. <laughs> Do you want me to get the shovel? Check well, not it. yet. Not yet. All this means is that it wasn't me who did this. Because if it was me, if I had car keys, I'm bet damn sure that I had the shed key on them. Do I have I mean, any? Look, and I pull out my keys and I show her like, 
Yeah. That's that's the key to the lock right there. Do I have an inkling that it was me that did it? You got a 44. Yeah, you did yeah. it. Oh, sorry. Yes, I'm going to go with your matched roll. Yeah, you did it. Okay. I'm just gonna be honest with you, I think I did that. I'm sorry. I think I... I think I probably did that. You mean, like, a version of you did that? Yeah, I mean, no, no, I... not... not me. But me. I... I, I used to break locks. That's something I used to do. Wait, and you see, like, a wry smile, like, appear on his face, like... I don't say anything, but I kind of like tilt my head, like, yeah, a little, you know. All right, all right, I see you. Um, to be continued on that. <laughs> all right, here we go. I'm gonna take the latch off of the the eye ring, and then I'm gonna. Like, open the door real slow. Roll. Roll with the yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. 28. 35. You Fire. know what? I'm going to use my, uh, my hunch roll of 26 and put it right there. Okay. Boop, boop. That's All my right. last one. So I got a my hunch roll was a twenty six. So now my thirty five has changed to a twenty six. Okay. Um before I describe what Trick sees, I have a question for Briar. Please okay. remember everything comes at a cost. <sighs> Do you want to see the truth? I wanna see uh Oh god. That's not an easy question to answer. No, it um, really isn't. I feel you. What's in the shed? <laughs> What's in the shed? Can I, since I'm behind Trick, can I see what kind of reaction he has to what he's... No, I, I'll just make a decision. I... Well, yeah. if you uh, want, you can tell me what Briar would feel, and I can go based on that. Because it sounds to me like Brian, she doesn't want to see it. If no, she's I waiting don't, to I see his reaction... Yeah. But I'm I'm more focused on what Trick's doing. Like because there's blood on the ground and kind of taking his lead. So I think I probably don't want to see the truth. Okay. Are you sure? It sounds like I don't have a choice. So I feel like I will see the truth and uh Well, no, maybe I mean, this. No, I'm actually <laughs> asking. Yeah. I just don't want to lead you in a direction by saying, it sounds like you don't want to know. So I'm yeah. giving you an out. If you want to see the truth, you can see the truth. Well, if I don't know if this like sways your opinion or whatever, but um, I, would, I, I would put her on the side of, yes, she wants to see the truth only based on, I, I asked her to promise me something. Yeah. And in order to keep that promise, she has to see everything as it is. I think huh. Briar's mindset That's interesting. is she's getting sick of all of this all over the place stuff. And mm -hmm. I think she's just ready to see the truth if that's what is there. Okay. Okay. Trick. You open the door to your shed. And as you open it, oh, that annoying, familiar whispering sound comes up. And you get a chill up your spine. For you, in the shed, is a dead body of a Bello. She is on the ground. She is missing an arm. It looks like it's been torn off. Um, this is nothing like when she was in the trunk. She is, however, lying there with her eyes open and her mouth open, very similar to how she was in the trunk. And she's looking at you, Trick. She's looking at you like this is your fault. 
Briar. You see the dead body of Adisa Bello on the floor. She's missing an arm. It looks like it was ripped right out of her body. Um, you can see the exposed bone. Her eyes are open. Her mouth is open. She's looking at Trick, it looks like. And you see yourself standing over her dead body. And you're tall, and your frame is willowy. And in one instant, you realize the shadow that you've been seeing is you. And when you realize that, it looks up at you, and its eyes, your eyes are looking at you, and it has a wicked, sinister grin. What do you do? Do I see the, her? You or do, do not. I just see the body? You only see the body. Okay. I'm watching Trick to see what he's, his reaction is. What, what do you see? I don't say anything. I just stare into the eyes of a Bello. And you, like... There's sort of like a like a guttural grumbling for me. I'm gonna look at the figure. Okay. And something's gonna make me start smiling at it. Okay, what kind of smile is it? What are you feeling right now? Like I finally realized something, like something clicked. Okay. What clicked for her? What does she realize? Other than that's her. That my grandfather told me it always needed to be afraid of me. And so I think in my head, maybe I can control this. Okay. What do you do to try to control it? Well, I I see Trick. It's like, you're freaking out a little bit. Like, you're trying to keep it together. Uh, He's... I'm angry. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm angry that this bitch keeps... Like, I'm not scared anymore. I am angry that this bitch keeps following me around and keeps staring me in the eyes. And she knows... God damn well, I had nothing to do with her fucking murder at all. I've never killed anybody, and I'm getting fucking pissed. It's like when someone says, oh, you're grumpy today. It's like, I wasn't. I'm starting. I'm getting there because you keep saying it. I, um, are you saying any of this to me? No, 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 no. That's, okay. that's what's, go- I'm just letting people know what's going on inside Trick's head right now. However. And I'm just, I'm looking at her. Yeah. Trick has never lost his cool really in front of you. So this is strange. He's like, (sighs) he's huffing and growling maybe a little bit, kind of like, like he's about to boil over. And so far he's been as cool as a cucumber. I'm gonna grab the gun. And I'm handing it, I'm gonna hand it back to Trick. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, man. I Hold on, I got some other way. Be right back, bio. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. I, I gotta go change my diaper real quick. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something, Trick. Take your gun. Do you touch me, like? Because I'm not gonna answer you. I'm, I'm like fixing. I'm gonna. It. St- then if you're not going to take it from me, I'm grabbing your hands and I'm sticking the gun into your hands. As soon as you touch me, it's just like... <sighs> Sorry. You don't see it, do you? The, I see the... I see the body right there, the arm missing all that, yeah. Why are you seeing something else? You don't see what you saw in the shadows when we were in the doctor's office, the professor's office? 
is You know here. what you saw? Oh, I know what I saw is it here. Oh. I just realized that it's me. So... I think you need to be more worried about me than I need to be worried about you. So... Why don't Look. you, um... Just do it. Look at me. I'm not gonna look at him. Fine. Just don't look at me. Listen I'll... to me. We're in this together. Oh, not I your think... fault. Not my fault. No one's shooting nobody unless it comes down to it. <laughs> I probably will kill you all. So you should just do what you need to do. And I'm gonna that look sounds... at him like directly in the eye. That sounds like you're quitting. You don't strike me as a quitter. I'm gonna take the gun in his hands and I'm gonna position his fingers over the the trigger. You can stop it for me and for you. And then go to sleep, and maybe in the morning, it'll all be back to normal. Honey, <laughs> that's never it. gonna happen. That's never gonna happen. Trick, this is my fault. Nobody has to know. Tell him I did it. Tell him you found me in here. So, you're asking me to kill you to keep you from killing me. Am I got that right? Yeah. Well. Let me see what I think about that. Fuck that is what I think about that. I fucking killed her. I ain't you no didn't one do nothing yet. Elder. You didn't do nothing yet. Look at me. You haven't done a goddamn thing yet. Do you hear the sound of my voice? You haven't done a fucking thing yet. And I... until that day comes, you will keep acting like the innocent person that you are. Do you understand? I don't think I'm innocent, trick. Is there something you're not telling me? You don't see it, but I do. That was my fault. That was me. Trick roll. Okay. Briar, do you want Trick to see the truth? Please remember everything comes at a cost. Yes. 14. Man, I love games mm. that low rolls are good. I want him to see it. Trick. Suddenly before you, it's like a, like smoke at a campfire as it rises up and you see this tall, slender, dark, shadowy figure that you recognize instantly from that time in the darkness when you flicked on your lighter. And there it is standing there. This time it has Briar's eyes as it looks up at you and that wide grin far too big for a normal face with many, many teeth. Super sharp. And it's smiling at you and it won't look away from you. And suddenly you hear a distorted version of Briar's laugh. That little chuckle she does. <laughs> That's right, you motherfucker. You go on and laugh. You caught me by surprise the first fucking time. You ain't doing it again. I ain't scared of you. So you go ahead and do whatever the fuck you're gonna do. Or get the fuck off of my property. And with that, it lunges at you to attack. Pause! Back in the house. 
<laughs> what? Okay. I'm sorry. I have to. Back in the house. <laughs> I would have been totally fine just not ever having another word this episode for that to continue. <laughs> Same. It was the dream. I was the stadium of the dream. It was like, don't stop the God damn it. I didn't hear what Pumpkin said. I'm still over there right now. <laughs> so, this is interesting because this is, you've all been sleeping as this is happening in the shed. Um, this is during the two hours yeah this is during the yeah. two hours so you guys are awake but I will tell you this Briar and, and uh, Trick are not downstairs in the living room surprise <laughs> Vector quiet down so did you guys think we should check outside anytime I haven't seen Trick come back Sounds like a good idea. It's an idea. Why don't, you, why don't you go and see if they're out there? I wouldn't mind having a talk with everybody. All right. <sighs> and I casually stroll over to whatever the deck. Were they out like out a back door? Yeah, there's a back door. The entire back wall of Trick's house is glass. It's like windows and a sliding glass door onto his but it's beautiful nighttime. porch. And no, it's, uh, it's like, like eight in the morning. Right Hella early. Yeah. Okay, so it's yeah. early, so I can peek it's out. Like okay, seven, right? I'm gonna Two look out the window. Do I see anything? Oh man! Oh my god! Okay, roll. Oh, you've just had a bunch of... You feel great, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 34. I you rolled a 34. You don't see anything, but you have a really foreboding feeling in your stomach and chest. Your chest is tight all of a sudden as you're looking into the backyard. Uh, guys, I think I'm going to head outside and look for him. I don't see anyone, and I... Don't I, go alone. Bad feeling? Would you like to join me? Yes, Brian. I'm good here. You Guys, I don't feel good separate about this. For obvious reasons. I'm good here. All right. I'm going to use captivation and insist Brian join us. <gasps> oh! Wow. Wow. PvP. All right, let's go. All right, I'm rolling. Captivation is a 15 governed by soul, which is a 70. What's your soul? I rolled a hundred. Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm going to let, it. I'm I'm gonna let twice. Brian describe mm -hmm. this critical failure as the professor tries to convince him to come with. He stands up. He's looking at me. He's like, I insist you go. <laughs> In his just professory just way, on to his book. Yeah, I profess you go. I'm like, his hair's like just fucking flop. go, just fucking go. I'm fine. <laughs> Professor, you've never really had this happen before, where you've tried to <laughs> command someone to do <laughs> something like and they didn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you feeling? What are you thinking? Concerned. For mm. Brian, if anything. Interesting. Because he's one, yeah, it's never happened. He's usually pretty not complacent, but passive. Like quiet, he, and just quiet, quiet and willing. Yeah. Quiet and willing. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like, I mean, because I I I know your drinking problem. I know the reasons for it. Because of that, you're usually numb. You're not numb right now, and that's almost more concerning the professor. Oh wow. Yeah, holy shit. Okay. All right. Hey, just be careful. I got the couch covered. Go. And clutching the book, I follow. The yeah, then I, I head out and shut the door behind me. Where do you guys go? 
I'm gonna walk into the yard because I probably feel that's probably where the I, f- I feel like nastier as yeah, I get do. closer to it. Yeah, you do. Um, I'm falling because I don't notice that. I guess. Take another roll for me, Emma. Two, please. Oof. I rolled an 84 and a 69. So, as you're walking out into the yard, all of a sudden, you kind of smell something that you didn't smell before. Man, this grass is freshly cut. Also, is someone injured? I think you smell blood. Does it smell sick? Like the dude at the hospital? No. Okay. God, do you smell that? The grass? We had it mowed recently, I think. No. It's almost like... You ever drive by a dead animal on the road? God. Not... Normally, I don't usually have the windows down when walking and driving by roadkill. Can I see what... Is it going towards the shed? Can I, like, hound oh, yeah, on my it's, way? Yeah, it's coming right. from the shed. So I'm going to slowly just start to drift that way, sniffing harder. You don't smell that? God, it's almost sweet. It's kind of... No, I don't smell anything. What are you doing? I don't know. I feel... Something went wrong here. And I can smell something. God. Where is it going, then? Towards that way? Is that a shed? Does Trick do yard work? Oh, my God. All right. I think he hires it out. But looking, is the the shed... Is the... (laughs) I love it. I love it. Like, you're talking to a child, it's like, probably hires out. Can we not talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> is the shed open shut? What's the what's the state is now? Yeah, the door's at? cracked a little bit. Cracked a little bit? Yep. Can I reach out and just touch the door? If we keep it's, walking toward it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. if you want to walk toward it. It's about yeah. 30 feet oh, or yeah. something I'm from gonna, the... I'm yeah, so you gotta walk line. a bit. Okay. I'm staying I'm with assuming. you. I'm, I'm at your side. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> It's definitely closer. You don't smell anything right now. Now that we're right next to it, do I smell anything? You can roll. Because I like rolling. If you get under in 20, yeah, you do. Nope. 61. You don't smell shit, except beautiful floral arrangements he's got in his garden. Yeah. Damn, Uh, he's got a nice garden, in fact. All right, I'm just flowers gonna... and trees. Like, yeah, very I don't classic. Yep. No, there's something different. I'm just going to reach out and grab the door and swing it open, you know, as Emma would. What do I see? We're going to pause and we're going to switch back. Briar and Trick. Please roll initiative. Damn it. Oh, oh no. Oh Oh my god. Oh god. Okay. Okay. So I have uh, Start Me Up is initiative. Yep. Uh, mine is 30, and my governing sp- skill speed is 60. Okay. So for your initiative, it's whoever gets, I believe, it's whoever gets the lowest roll in order, as okay. long as you're underneath your stat. And then anybody over their stat has to, it goes in order whoever's lowest. Again, it's weird. All right, go for it. Oh my. (laughs) Briar rolled a 76. Trick rolled a 58. Oh my. Shadow Briar rolled a 15. Ah! Okay. Oh boy. Oh, I thought I thought she was rolling for shadow. We're all three in this. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's lunging at you. You told it that it wasn't going to get you this time, right? What was it that you said? Please refresh our memory. I said, you do what you're going to do or get the fuck off my property. Like, 
that may have sounded weird, but that that's like s- s- southern tough talk. You yeah. Know? <laughs> it lunges at you. Um, holy shit. Um, you can dodge if you want. It's going to attack you. Um, you do have the dodge skill here. I believe, right? Yep, oh, dodgy yeah. style. Yep, dodgy. Dodgy style, yes. All right. I just want to remind everybody listening, maybe you are just tuning in for the first time today. Combat is unbelievably brutal. It tells you at the beginning, don't do it. And then in the combat section of the book, it says six ways to stop a fight before it gets to the actual combat. So it's kind of a big deal. Um, Would you like me to remind you the six ways in which you can stop a fight before we continue? Yes, please. All right. Mm -hmm. You can surrender. (laughs) You can disarm. You can re-channel, which is interesting. Pass the buck. Is there somebody more powerful than either of you that can help? Oh, God. You can call the cops or you can run. first thing that I, I mean, do we have to do this in like, are we, can I say stuff now or do I have to wait my turn? No, you can say stuff now. Okay. I mean, the, the, my immediate thing would be to step in front of it. Oh. Between, I'm going to put myself between me, shadow me, and trick. Okay. And I'm going to look at it. I'm going to, you do not touch him. Okay, I will have you roll for that only because you reasons. So typically okay. it would attack first, but reasons. So go ahead and roll. Um, let me look at your sheet really quickly. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, you have three choices. Okay. You can use your eyes in the dark you can use slip in the shadow or you can use eavesdropping whichever skill you want I'm gonna do eavesdropping okay go ahead and roll 46 is under your governing stat of 60 describe to us what it's like when you control this thing I finally feel like I understand and I feel like I'm finally in control. So I stand and I'm like confident, like you do not touch him. You know better. You know, back the fuck off. It backs up. It is growling at you, like snarling. Its smile is twisted and crooked. It's still smiling at you, but almost sarcastically we've been in each other's lives for a long time what do you want roll so I hear whispers you do you understand them You're hearing this whisper. It sounds like it's in your own voice. And then all of a sudden it becomes clear. And it's like bits of a conversation. You hear, no, but I don't want to do that. And then you also hear, it's the only way to stop her. I'm the only one who can stop her. And then that's what you hear over and over and over again. I'm the only one that can stop her. I'm the only one that can stop her. You're gonna go now. Go where? You're just gonna go, and you're not gonna come back. You're not coming back to this house. Roll one more time for me. 
so I know how well this works. Fuck. I have 94. Got a 94. Um, it's going to back away, but it doesn't just back up. It, like, bends down into itself while never losing eye contact with both of you. It's looking at you. It's got that twisted grin. It bends down into itself and then disappears into the shadows. And it's gone. I'm going to look at Trick. Just don't talk to it like that. Why is that? It will kill you. <clears throat> so what if I do... If I'm by myself... You're not around. Just run away from it. What is it? You think I know what it is? I think you might have an idea. <laughs> I didn't know it was me. Just run away from it. Don't. Gonna keep running my entire life. You're gonna do the same. You gotta figure out a way we can fight it. I gave I think... you a way. Trick. You don't even know if that's gonna work. You're just, just a, a hunch. As he says that, you hear it. You hear that breathing again, Briar, and your stomach, your blood runs cold. Trick, roll dodge, please. Oh, oh God, okay. <laughs> 15, governing status, 60. Rolling now. 63, over. You hear the growling sound as Trick is flung across the shed. I'm so knocked out. Briar, you are alone with this thing. You can't see it now, but you know it's here. Trick is bleeding, lying on the ground. You come for me, I'm what you fucking want. Nothing happens. I will fucking kill you if you lay a hand on him. You know I can fucking do it. Show yourself, fucking coward. You can see it now. It's like... That wispy smokiness as it reveals itself to you head first, so you can see its smirk. You're a fucking joke. Hiding all the fucking time. I'm gonna walk towards it. It doesn't move, it just watches you. What are you gonna do, huh? You fucking do. I'm just gonna keep walking. Takes a step back. Yeah, you wanna fucking go? Try me, bitch. Come on. I told you to fucking go. I'm gonna start smiling at it. Come on. Roll one more time. This one private. Okay. It doesn't leave. Trick is bleeding. It looks like his stomach has been cut. It looks pretty bad. The one person who fucking cares you're gonna do that? One fucking person? I'm gonna keep walking towards it. 
Okay. It backs up, and eventually it hits the wall of the shed. I told you to leave, or you're gonna fucking finish this with me. One more roll. This one private as well. Roll a dodge. Private? No, you can do this one public. What's your dodge? Yo! It reaches back. It leans down, so it's right at your eye level. It looks you straight in the eye and grins and brings its long arm back with that fingers that you recognize, those super long, slender, creepy fingers. And then it slashes you across the chest. And you fall to the ground and black out. Emma! Professor! <clears throat> you open... You open the shed door and see Trick and Briar lying unconscious on the shed floor or on the ground. Are oh they bloody and Oh yeah, there's blood everywhere. Whole mess. Yeah. Oh my god! Professor, call the cops. Call the fuck call somebody. Holy god. Really call uh, Is there a Look so, in, Come here. I I step in confirming when I step in and see are there three bodies or two? Roll. Use your special bullshit if you want. I will use Aura Sight. Absolutely. Yep. That is a five. Aura Sight is 15. Soul is 70. Wow. Okay. So, oh man, you son of a bitch. Okay. Yeah. You see their two bodies lying there. Bodies. You see them lying there unconscious. Um, bleeding, blood everywhere. Uh, they look very injured and uncomfortable. They've probably been lying there for about 45 minutes or so. Um, and you do see a very tall, what you would consider an aura, I guess, the professor sees, standing in the corner. Or it's just, it's very long, though. It's not in the shape of a person or anything, but you do see I've a seen the shadow a few times now. Yep. Or at least the shape. This, yeah. I must stay out. I I am. I'm like bracing myself on the doorway because I know what will happen if I get into the blood situation. Like I can smell it and I'm just holding. It almost looks like I'm trying to hold myself from going in the room probably like holding the wood. Should we call somebody? No, they couldn't help. What do you mean? I don't think they'll be able to help. Uh, and I've I've pulled the book out and start flipping to the page. Oh my god. All right. Emma, will you roll something privately for me? Yes. I privately rolled none of your business. Are you at 4 out of 5? You hit your 5, didn't you? Um Are you at- No, I was at 3 out of 5, so I'm at 4 then. Yep, okay. I got another one, yep. All right. Oh, 20, okay, right. I said privately and then I almost read out loud, sorry. It's fine. (laughs) Um, (sighs) Everything comes at a cost, but you can help them right now if you want. I can. You can, Emma. Do I know that? Yeah. Like, you know me? you can help them. Professor, I can help them. I can do something. You don't know how you know it, but you know it. I'm still And I kind of just collapsed to my knees, still like holding myself almost like a dog, like from going in there, like a hungry, like Rottweiler minus the snarls. I can do something if you think I should do it. I think you should, but wait. All right. Professor? Uh, So I'm flipping to the page, and I'm staring into that space where I see its aura. 
Okay. So she's trying to stop herself from going in here. She's kind of like hunched over, breathing very heavily, and you're opening this book to the page. You almost know exactly where it is by heart. You don't even need to look. So the book is turned away from your, and you're opening it, or are you opening it towards yourself? I'm opening it toward myself. Okay. uh, While staring into that space. Uh, Okay. And I, I'm like, I look down at Briar, look at Trick, while Emma's panting and having issues in the <laughs> right here. Uh, <laughs> she was supposed to confront you. Excuse me, what? Because I don't see the thing, right? Not me. Uh, And then I, on that page, I turn it toward the creature. Okay. My creature rolled a 99. What is the professor intending to do to this creature right now? (laughs) Banish it. Make it go the fuck away and send it to whatever that dimension that the others got pulled to. Now, when you say it wasn't supposed to... Sorry. Be confronted by you. I didn't want to put words in. Yeah. Yeah. It it wasn't supposed. Yeah. uh, Yeah. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. Mm Mm-hmm. Shit. Emma, please roll a dodge. All right. Oh! Shit, that's a third hundred we've had this That's a hundred and ever. All of them are tonight. Oh my god. Goodbye, Emma. sweet world. Emma. I rolled a hundred. Yeah, yeah, sorry, we're all freaking out because it was a hundred. Um, You remember when you looked in that trunk and you touched that woman and you kind of felt getting sliced open? That's happening to you right now. You're feeling the slow, excruciating slice. And as you look down, you are being cut open. You are bleeding. Oh my God. And I start to like try to hold myself in probably like parts of me are falling out and then just collapse. Yep. Emma falls to the ground. Did the creature move? Unconscious. The creature's aura is now gone, but Briar is healing before your eyes, and her eyes open. She's awake. Trick still unconscious? Trick is still unconscious, yes. (laughs) And the aura is now gone. The aura is now gone, yes. I'm gonna, like, scramble over to Trick. Is he still alive? Uh, are you, how are you determining this? Are you like checking his pulse or smacking him awake or tell us what's going on? All of the above. Okay. I'm just like, what? are you awake? Are you, are you okay? Uh, Trick, please roll. Okay. I'm just gonna, gonna sneak out here, like, <laughs> try to. <laughs> fail. Let me out. Here we go. Roll, roll, roll. I'm, roll. I'm gonna live. I want to oh, live. You are alive. Nine. It's about whether you Nine. wake up. Yeah, you wake oh. up, man. She wakes you up. Yeah. <laughs> that roll, clutch roll, right there. Holy shit. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I can't breathe. Uh, I look down like is I'm still like ripped open, yeah. Uh, yeah, you've been sliced. Yeah, you're pretty. Okay. Com- you're in trouble. I am pushing his wounds together, even though I know ah. it's happening. And then I, do I see the professor or that Emma's just laying on the ground? Yeah, because as you get up, the only like the light is coming in from the way wide open door, and you can see the professor standing there, and Emma is on the ground, and yeah, she's been sliced open. She's bleeding pretty badly. <laughs> What? Oh my god, like, what, what, incredibly what, what, badly. I'm gonna run over to her. What happened? Why? And I'm gonna like flip her over. What happened? What happened, Professor? What the fuck? You were supposed to confront it with all of us. It just happened. I just. 
This just isn't right. Do something. You're just fuck. She's bleeding oh, yeah. out. She's she's really been hit. I'm gonna start putting like pressure on her wounds. Oh, uh, I'll, I'll get Brian. Trick, are you are you all right? Like as he's there. Yeah, I'm fucked up, Professor, but I think I can make it. Oh, hold on, here, I reach in my pocket, throw him the keys. We might need to ride to the hospital sometime soon. Uh, grab them. Maybe. And I run back in uh, to get Brian. What's Brian been doing? <laughs> Sitting on the couch, um, trying to get the courage to like uh, kind of publicly address the group of them because I thought they were all going to get into the room and I was going to have a sit down with them and talk to them each. So I've been just sitting there like in my head, just getting okay. the courage to do it without having any alcohol to that, do it. So I'm what sitting there. What does that sound like to... when you're talking to yourself like that? Uh, nothing. It's 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 all it's in my head. It's okay. super quiet. I'm just uh, maybe a little bit of a rocking, but not too much. And I'm yeah. I just got the piece of paper from yeah. Trick or Treat, I should say. Yeah. And I'm just putting pieces together. That's all I'm doing. I'm just trying to put all these pieces together. Okay. All right, Professor, the floor is yours. Okay, I run in with Brian there, still clutching the book. Oh, Brian, sheets. Get them now. What? Now! Oh, oh, oh all right, fuck, all right. So I probably uh, stand up and... There's, there's, there's no fucking sheets. Oh, oh shit, okay. Grab them off uh, the bed. Yeah, and I'm so running I... in under the sink to look for, like, antiseptic, or, like, in the bathroom looking for antiseptic, uh things of that nature. Okay. I would run right upstairs up to the spare bedroom that I was in and I would just yeah. rip the rip the duvet off. I, I I'm just rushing because he sounds like he's panicking. Yeah. So I don't even grab a sheet. But I grab like the duvet cover. I'm guessing Trick would have like duvets. So I grab the duvet and I just run down the stairs. Okay. Um, professor, he's got an extremely well-stocked house with like literally everything. So yeah, he's got like five med kits around the house. So okay. take I your grab pick. A med, I, yeah, yep. I mean, like I grab a med kit. Closest um, one you can find is probably under the sink in the shed, actually. But yeah, uh, there's probably one under the sink. Yes. Okay, grab one under the sink and like and head back when I out. see him coming down the stairs, the shed now. They're hurt, and so yeah, I keep. I just start running, hoping that he's behind me. Okay, you guys go back to the shed. Brian, when you get there, Emma is lying at the door of the shed and her, her chest has been ripped open and instantly you remember the trunk. Those wounds look exactly like what happened in the trunk. And she's lying there. She's bleeding profusely. Trick is lying there. He is struggling Fuck. to breathe. He's also been cut open. Brian is there, or Briar is there. She's maybe crying? I don't know. She seems no, very I, upset. I, I don't want to speak for her. I probably wouldn't be crying, but I'd be like, this is all my fault. This is all my fault. There we go. I'm so sorry. What the fuck happened? I don't know. I don't know. Don't Jesus Christ. I, you know, like, sit down, open up med kit. Um, and start trying to do whatever I can. I'd probably have like the basic medic, like the real basic CPR first aid training that like the professors pro would professors get. get. Yeah. In okay. case. Hey, hey, Brian. Hey, Brian. You been drinking, Brian? Uh, I rush over to him. I, I still got this duvet in my hand. I have no idea why I have a fucking duvet in my hand, and I, and I'm looking out. Yeah. W what? You you been drinking, Brian? No, 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 no. Okay, we're gonna have to go to the hospital now, like now, okay. now. Okay. So uh, I can get, I can probably get myself up, but you're gonna okay. need to get up, Emma. Oh, okay. motherfucker! Uh, uh, Brian, 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 come here, come here, come here, come here. I get up and I run over. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna put the duvet down. We're gonna try to slide. We're gonna try to slide trick onto it, and then you're gonna grab. It's a, it's gonna be like the cemetery. Uh, so go ahead and, and try okay. to push them on there, and we're gonna hoist them up and we're gonna get them to the vehicle. Someone's gonna carry her. Someone's gonna carry her. We'll come back for her. We'll come back for her. 
Let's take care of him first. We'll go one at a time. One at a time. Okay, okay, let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. So I, I would pick up my side of the sheets, and on Briar, you'll be on the other side, grabbing the other two corners. All right, on three. You ready? Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Okay, up. All right, okay, let's go. Motherfuck me, God okay. damn it. Hang, so hang in there, man, hang in there. Okay, we're gonna go around the house. We're gonna go around the house, okay, so we don't get in the way of what's going on in the back door. So we would uh, proceed to walk our way around the side of the house uh, toward the garage side and uh, try to get to the front of the garage. Uh, okay. Get the, Professor, give me the keys. Give, give Brian the keys. Oh, as yeah, he's I, like walking, it's, oh. Yeah. I'd stop, yeah, I'd stop, I'd be holding the sheets here. I just uh, slip them into your pocket, like into your back pocket. Okay, thanks, all right, let's go, let's go. Can you carry, carry her, pick her up. She shouldn't be moved yet, like as I'm trying what to like wrap, like uh, I'm trying to wrap basically the a bandage as tight as I can around the wound, not, not removing shirt or anything, just trying to get pressure on there. Briar, one at a time. Let's go. Let's go. Let's okay, go. Okay, one at a okay. time. One at a time. Okay. We proceed around to the front uh, toward the garage. Yeah, I know. I tell him back door. Fuck it. The back door leads into the garage. The back door? Fuck. Okay. Okay. That right, one right go. there. Okay. So I push up against the wall while holding the corner of the sheet. I'm trying to grab the handle as well. I turn it. And I put right, my shoulder just, into the door. Yep. Just not the keys, man. He can use the keys to fuck up my door yeah, I jam. Got, I got him. 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 All right. All so right. I'm, I'm trying to pull my hand down to grab the keys that are in the pocket that were placed in there. So I have my jacket up in there like this. Got the keys. I put them into the lock. Give me the, yeah, there you go. Okay. Now, I'll, I'll, I can make my way to the to the Go get, go get Emma, go get Emma. Okay, all right, all right. You got, you, Briar, you got this? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna Okay, okay, here, here, I have the keys, you have the keys, go, go. Can I start uh, opening the door as fast as I can? I'm so well, sorry, please forgive me. What are we me. gonna tell him, honey? What are we gonna tell him? We gotta tell him the truth, right? Yeah, I don't know, just get in the car. I get, I get the all door right. open and I grab, like I try to hoist him at least over my shoulder to help him walk. Okay, let's, and I, I try to lead him to the car. And I, open I can I roll yes. something? Yes. Okay. I'm gonna roll and. I didn't want to interrupt your amazing role play. Just wanted to see all. if I'll fall down. Okay. My body is forty. I gotta. I gotta. Not a, not the best body. So yeah, I fall down like okay. completely. Like as once you open the door, I was leaning too hard on it, and I just crumpled. <laughs> God, I can't. Okay, I want to try to pick him up. You do crossfit, crossfit, so roll. I do crossfit. Okay. 66! What's your governing body stat? It's 60! Oh! That's a max roll. That means that it's... Yeah, do you have a hunch? Sorry to meta you right now. I used him already. Cool. Um, yeah, Mm. so you can't lift him up. I don't know why you do fucking CrossFit, but right now he's too heavy and you can't fucking lift him up. And this is kind of overwhelming. And now you are triggered because your trigger is helplessness. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna crouch down. Okay, I'm gonna help you up. Okay, we're gonna, you're gonna look at, look at me, look at me. I want you to, to grab my arms. Okay, to sit up, sit up. Okay, sit up, please sit up. Ah, fuck! God damn it! Just- Ah, just, uh, wait, go, just go help. Go get Emma. Wait for Brian to come back. You get me on the on the rebound. Go, 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 Brian! go, go, Professor fucking, what if you get over here? We're on the back of the house. It's probably on the far side of the house. This is a big house, right? So yeah. that's that's yeah. hard for that sound to travel through that little door. Yeah. Yeah. Probably so, here yelling. Yeah. I'm already bolted around the back now, and I'm back at the professor, and I'm um, there with Emma. Okay. I'm, uh, I need to ask the professor something. What did you do while they were gone? So I was, I, I tried to wrap, I basically used it, like all you, of the bandage possible, just wrapped around her. Like I'd probably get under her a little bit so I can f- feed it quickly okay. and try to bind this wound and just get pressure on it via the bandage. That's basically, I just tried to use all of the bandage up for this. Um, I would probably, um, 
go up to Emma's up, up to Emma's face, and I would just put my hand on her cheek and like, you want something for the pain? You want something? For the pain? No, 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 no. Her no, eyes no. are open, and her gaze distant. We need to get it now. We need to move now. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Can we can we move her? Are you good? You have to. We have to try. Okay. All right. All right. I'll take the top. You take the bomb. All right. Yeah. 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 Okay. You ready? I'll put my hands underneath both of her. Um. I'll probably put actually my left hand underneath her back. She's a small lady, if I recall, yeah. right? Very small. Mm -hmm. So yeah, my left hand would be uh, bracing down the spine of her back, and then my right hand to kind of stabilize with, with her right arm. Okay. Okay. That kind of do like the under the knees to like so I actually have a little more leverage. Hit. You ready? She's okay, incredibly on, on easy to lift. She's just okay, flopping there. Okay, one, two, three. Woo, woo. Okay, <clears throat> there we go. All right. All right, let's go. Okay, we're on the side. Doors open. Okay. I still right. have, I have like wedged the book between her and myself. I'm not letting go of this thing. So I'm probably walking a little awkwardly because of that. Okay. Where is it? I'm so sorry. My robot is making sounds. One sec. All right. Sorry. Please continue. Uh, it like I've got it wedged between like her legs and my chest. Like as I'm, if I'm here and okay. her like her knees just, are coming toward me. Okay. Yeah. All right. You guys are carrying her to the car. Mm-hmm. To the door for him. Yep. You have to get yep. the, into the okay. car, car. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So we approach the door, I suppose. Uh, yep. I come through first, mm -hmm. backing up into it. Professor following in suit. And I'm looking behind me to see what's going on. And what do I see? You see Trick on the ground. Um, Briar is leaning over him, trying to. It looks like she's trying to lift him up and get him into the car. She's very panicked. She can't seem to lift him up into the car. Can I? Okay. Say yep. Please, Trick, Trick kind of said, like, oh, go go help or go help Emma yeah. or whatever. And my rage stimulus is being treated like I'm not capable. Holy so shit. Okay. Can I try to pick him up again? Yes. Or, okay. Yes. So, I'm gonna um, fucking Hulk out. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so, your rage stimulus is triggered and also your fear stimulus is triggered. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. Should I just roll again? Yep. We're going to okay. do it one more time. 69. Listen to me very carefully. This is only working because that's Trick's special number. Oh. Not because I'm being a nice GM. I'm literally was, special things happen when that number is rolled in relation to Trick. I so, was going to say something. Yeah. <laughs> that's a very special number. So, yes, you can lift him up. No, this is dead no lift him. I just, anybody who's watching, like, we established Go back. That, like, yeah. If Watch we the roll a 69. Episodes. When it's related to me, special stuff happens. Okay, All right. So I'm going to pick him up. I'm scared, but I'm also mad. Fucking, like, lift him and come and get him into the car. You just, come on. And so I'm going to pick him up. And I'm going to throw, I'm going to hold him with one arm, and I'm going to throw open the passenger door. Get in the fucking car, Trick. Jesus Christ, Wonder Woman. Fuck me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just get in the car, please. All right. All right. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right. I'm just going to, I'm just going to go to... So. No, 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 no. And I'm going to slap his face and you are not. Just, no. I'm fine. Just go. No. I'm you going. Can't. I'm going. Look, I got it. I got it. My eyes. I'm slapping my eyes. Uh, I'm I'm just going to stand next to him. I'm not going to leave okay. him alone. Okay. He's bleeding pretty heavily still. Do you want to try to... I'm going to grab... I mean, I, I'm feeling like I have a... Well, I just have a shirt on. I'm probably just going to take my shirt off All right. to start putting pressure on the wounds. Good for you. Okay. Um, please roll... Trick, take a uh, one failed self hardened. Okay. Uh, for your That's dodge never earlier. A trick before. Yeah, I uh, I didn't want to interrupt the role play, and uh, one failed notch as well, please. You are bleeding out, so she is trying to stop that from happening. Hold on, one failed, uh, one failed. Yep, self you got it. I'm watching. Hardened. I have your sheet open. You got it. Yep. Okay. One for getting attacked by that thing and not dying, and the failed one is the second time. Gotcha. Okay. 
All right, you're, you've taken your shirt off. You're putting pressure on the wounds. And at this point, you guys come up carrying a limp Emma in your arms and also wrapped in a duvet or sheets. Yeah, she's like laying in... Or no, we, did you leave the duvet? Because we were carrying her by by just us. I the mean, duvet would be right beside the vehicle where we dropped Trick. Yeah. So okay. her picking him up leans the duvets on the ground in the ground. Okay. Yes, that's okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, back seat. Uh, lay her down. While I'm putting pressure, I'm going to grab the, the door and open it. Okay. Okay. And like I'll I'll do the crawl in, th- like through the seat kind of thing, like so step in so I can keep carrying her as best I can, while setting her down while you're kind of like laying her down. And this is in the Escalade. Yeah. Okay. Back so once. Yay. She's My so pale. M- is she okay? Is she breathing? Barely. We need to get going. Are you checking? I didn't. Is anyone checking? I'm putting pressure on Trick's wounds, so I can't. I'll check. You're up by your face, yeah. Like I, I'll, I'm by I'll your I'll check. Face. I'll check. Hey, you know, you almost got my heart in your hands. No, Trick, please don't. It's pretty, it's pretty close there, though, isn't it? Wrap him in the duvet. Okay, you should let me get take you out that way. sometime. Maybe we can have Trish. some dinner. Maybe yeah. go to a movie or something. Oh, you can take me out anytime, okay? Yeah, take me out next week, though. So you gotta, you gotta stay, stay with me, okay? Take me out I'm next not, week. I'm not going nowhere, baby. I'm just Brian, pushing on it. There is mm-hmm. no pulse. On Emma? Emma. That's right. I I don't say anything. I look right at the person's eyes and I just I shake my head. No. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get in the I'm gonna get in the driver's seat. I'm gonna go I'm gonna, I'm gonna go around. Yeah. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. I, I, Good. I pick her up from my lap and I I shut the door. I like on. I'm sit down, put her legs over me, so I'm in the back seat with her. I'm gonna uh, like. I, sorry, you go ahead. No, I was gonna say I start flipping through the book, not I'm, to the page, but I'm flipping through somewhere else. I'm gonna get in the front seat, like in front of Trick, and close the door so I can keep putting pressure on his wound. So I'm like on the ground, in front of him. Okay. I I, I turn the key. I I hit the garage door button, and I. I Daddy, can we listen to the radio? Hang in there, hang in there, bud. Hang in there. I Brian, just want I put, to hear the radio. I put Brian. the vehicle in reverse. And you're pulling. What? 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 The woods. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. We have to retry. This is all my fault, please. We have, we have to go back. We gotta start over. Go. Over. I'm listening to everyone talk, and I'm right now. I'm thinking this. Everything's rushing in my head right now. I'm thinking about what decision to make. We have to try again. <laughs> in this over, moment, please. Brian, you remember Emma in the trunk with the same wounds she has right now. Let's go. I, I put it into reverse, and I just pedal that gas, and I burn out a little bit on the on the, in the garage. And as we're backing up. And I ready to pull it into forward to turn onto the road. I look at the at the garage and I look at that trunk. No, it stops now. And I hit the hit the gas so we go down the road. And that's where we're ending our episode today. Um, sorry. Episode title, The Secrets We Keep. I, I saw that earlier and I was like, yes, 100% yes. Can I, I just need something to happen really quickly before we wrap. Brian, please read me what the sheet said. 
and what you asked. The events of Tree. Emma's gone. She died. The professor is responsible. Someone crashed the truck. I never left the house. You don't have to read the next two if you don't want. I'm going to read them. Okay. We're not talking in games, so it's fine. Uh, Trick says that I have an incredible temper, is Brian. And that I took matters into my own hands. And by day four, slowly over time, people disappeared. And Trick was the only one left. Hebe is a master. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. He's Holy a god. God. My D and D slaves. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, stopper. You want to go <laughs> every time? You die today. <laughs> <laughs> but I will give you a sixty-nine as mercy because I'm such a guy. I just I don't want people being like, oh, PB didn't have the balls to do a thing. That's it. I have the balls, okay? I was the thing. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> hey man, I rolled for that, but you bled out real fast. Nobody put any pressure <laughs> anywhere, so it was just like. <laughs> I'm also you rolled, a, patient, you rolled you a 100. The critical patient. Yeah, you also rolled a 100 during that attack, so it was like, yeah, insta death anyway. I was so. putting pressure, but you were mauled horribly. Yeah, she was. She <laughs> rolled terribly for that. You know. So. Oh. Oh, All right. It's really nice to know everybody. Um, We're sitting nobody on panic. The other tables You're not done. You're, You're not, not done. You're not done. You're not done. You're coming back. <laughs> Bye, guys. We have to go back to the future. Even if it, even if it requires Here. an awkward blood orgy or whatever. <laughs> Wait, what? Blood orgy next week. <laughs> blood orgy next week. Yeah. Now, I, um, I put a little bit of extra effort into this episode to say thank you for all of you, but also I know we're not going to have Zeke next week. So, thank you, Zeke. I hope you have an amazing time in Japan. Um, yeah. Let's go ahead and do our round of shoutouts, and we'll start with you, Zeke, if that's okay. You betcha. I'd love it. Oh, man, what an episode. Holy moly. Ups, downs, thrills, chills, blood and guts and all kinds of awesomeness thank you guys so very much for letting me be a part of this i'm grateful to be part of such a fucking wonderful role-playing clue clue crew <laughs> what i meant to say um uh y'all are fearless and i i respect that and i love it let's keep going i'll see you next time but not next week perfect i'm still in shock so uh next dan Go. Hi, I'm Domestic Dan. Uh, I play Dr. Theo Ransom on here, Nocturne, as well as uh, on Fridays. You can catch myself and PB as well on another show, House on the Bound. Uh, cooking streamer, variety caster, uh, RP streamer, and uh, all sorts of fun. Um, the only upcoming event I have is on Saturday, uh, gar first gardening stream of the year because the weather's allowing Woo! for it in the season. So we go plant shit. It's gonna be great. Ooh. Can I start and, uh, doing my herbs on my balcony garden now? Yes. No. Or do I need to wait? Herbs? Yeah. Yeah. Mine survived. Yeah. They, they'll live all the time of the year. Really? <laughs> oh, okay. I had a foot of snow Sorry on my just table, ask my you that. My rosemary, and they were just fine. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, They Garner live forever. Dan. <laughs> At least here in Washington. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm in Canada, so maybe not. Maybe. But, okay. Uh, next up. CK, aka Emma. Now, before you guys panic, I still have plans for dear Classy Katie. She's not done yet. I just die infinitely in the timelines now, forever and ever. I'm I'm eternally dead. Relive the pain every episode. Relive the you know. 
<laughs> it's fine. I. It's like, you know, I'm just, I'm used to it at this point. It's fine. I'm just kidding. I used to play Emma on this really cool table story show called Nocturne. And then I was like, hey, I'll sacrifice my sanity to heal these two people. And the doc was like, no, I'm just going to throw a book at a ghost. <laughs> and now I'm dead. Slowly, I was left to bleed to death in the arms of the man who killed me with his magic book. And again, you should never abandon the critical patient. I did it. Fun, man. I was right there the whole time. Just wrapping my body, whatever. She's a mummy Ooh. now. <laughs> She's a mummy. You're like a damn spider in the shed. I've yeah. got like garbage body holding pressure on you too long while holding my book. <laughs> yeah. That book protected me. I don't know about you. I don't know. <laughs> well, clearly it didn't protect her. <laughs> Blood is on your hands, Dad. But, Quite if you guys want to see me where I'm not dead, I stream yeah. on twitch.tv slash Classy Katie, yes. and I play a lot of MMOs, mostly. And I do like special effects makeup and stuff. It's amazing. And I like really good at a lot. This is the first time I died. Can I just say that? I've never died in a role playing campaign before. Wow. This I is got my to be first, your first? You were my first. Did you like I know. it? Yeah. Okay. It was a little rough. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was a bit rough. And Jesus. it was like you were like done and then you just left me to be sad and wet on the bed and I was like Oh, I'm sorry bleeding out and dying. I don't know. It was a weird experience, but I'll, I'll write it in my journal and contemplate it later. Okay. Like 20 years from now, you can be mad at me for yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Okay. That was a great way to go, actually. Katie Peters plays. I am Katie Peters plays. And I played Briar, uh, who seems to be responsible for Emma's death, even though she doesn't know that I do, and I feel terrible. <laughs> I, um, wow. Um, I don't know. Today was crazy. Um, if you want to see me not manically crazy on a, on a stream, come hang out at my stream. We're playing uh, Don't Starve Together. It's Forget. actually, it's so yeah. good. It's, it's so, so funny. Good. She <laughs> says like every five minutes, I need wood. Where can I get wood? And I'm sitting there like a 12 year old. Like this is how I do it. Yes. I do, I run around, I got your wood. wood. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Where do yeah. I get wood? How do I get this? Yeah, anyway, it's great. You should go yeah. give her a follow. <gasps> Classy Pax, Brian. Hi, I'm Classy Pax. You can find me at twitch.tv forward slash Classy Pax. I play the character Brian Miller, who mostly does this. Uh, so, so, <laughs> but wow, best episode. Holy shit. So good. So good. I am, I am, damn. I am excited, but I am also very sad that. Zeke won't be here for next week to find out what unfolds. That's I'm, I'm sad for that. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, this is probably my favorite roleplay I've done in years, hands down. Probably my favorite, uh, top of the table now for me. Uh, so big round of applause. Put some claps in chat for PB for putting oh. on a roller coaster of emotions and story to glue all these people together and and throw them down this hallway <laughs> thrust thrust them down this hallway and let them bounce off the walls and see what develops and it's been absolutely fantastic um, great amazing experience uh, you can find me doing stuff like Satisfactory it's a factory game it lives up to the title and uh, yeah, that's it for me wonderful thank you I'm Thank you, everybody, for playing, obviously. But thank you for watching, whether you're lurking, giving us cool fan art, making memes in the chat, spilling your theories everywhere. We love and appreciate you. Um, and I'm Pumpkinberry, and I've been the GM of Mood today. Um, thank you, Zeke, both Katie's, Sam, Dan, for being incredible role players today. Um, if you have a Twitch Prime, please consider using it on one of these fabulous people. If you don't, maybe skip your coffee, you know, and pick somebody here, one of these amazing cast members, and throw us up their way, please. I appreciate it. Um, or and PP, it <laughs> or here. <laughs> sound like, like one of those old Sally Struthers, like, for just the price of, exactly. a cup of coffee. <laughs> coffee. You could support one of these poor broadcasters. <laughs> no. 
dollar a day. No, if they made you feel something, fucking give them five bucks or more. All right, please. Or, or fuck. feel us back. You can feel me back. I'll be, a Twi- I'll, back. I'll be a TwitchCon EU. I'll be in Japan. I'll be a TwitchCon NA as well. So if you want to feel me back, yeah, do it. Do it. Consent, Twitch consider consent given. <laughs> Um, also, if you want to support what we do here at Table Story, one of the best ways you can do that is by, well, being here, but also checking out our Patreon. Um, we've got character sheets, adventures for you and your table, um, and you can make NPCs for your favorite show, including this one, believe it or not. Um, yeah, and in the meantime, we'll be back next week, but join our Discord. There's lots of theories in there. There's lots of memes and gifs, gifs, peanut butters. Popping. Exactly. It's, it's crazy. It's doing it it's right wonderful. now. I'm watching these what? people. What? Really? They're already in there. They're I already love you in there. Discord. Go get in there and join the party, guys. Literally, it's crazy already. Join. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a follow on Twitter, and I think I think that's it. Tell us your juicy theories, and um, we want to hear it, and we'll be back next week. Oh, and wash those piss mittens. <laughs> Welcome yeah. to the-